I always miss that old clunking noise when I hit the mute button on the mic. Welcome back, it is time once again, as it is pretty much always is, for more Frostpunk. We've got a new challenge here. The challenge is Frostpunk USA. All medical care is going to cost money now in this endless extreme run. So we don't need that on the screen telling us. I wanted to figure out before we went into this what our... Uh, oh, okay. What our purpose laws were going to be. It is split perfectly 50-50 between faith and order. So the next vote that comes in is going to decide which it is. Uh, so I'll keep that thing on screen until it does happen. Lest somebody thinks that I'm changing what the, uh, the electorate are voting for. So how's this going to go? Endless mode as usual, endurance as always, and I think the only map we have yet to jump our way into is Snowdrifts, which is based on the refugees map. We did all the four regular ones, we did Frozen Grove for our Technophobia, we did Hanging Rock for our Lawless Run, so it's time for Snowdrifts, it is time for Extreme and Extreme and Extreme and Random Hazards on. Let's go! Oh my, order has pushed ahead. How about that? Well, away we go, Paul. Now we know we are doing order. Which makes a bit of sense because uh, healing cuts or uh, faith healing won't really do much in this run when healing costs money. Oh, well, Alpha says that faith got the first vote. Is that so? Is that something that can be believed? Iron Smash is also saying faith it is. So, uh, I always, always forget what the name of the place should, uh, well, not forget what it should be, but I forget to ask what it should be. I mean, uh, I mean, that's what we are, right? How can we, how can we say otherwise? And Greenland is a nice idea, but no, let's just go with the US of A. Okay, so... Sometimes I'm a bit too subtle with how these things go. I wanted it to be a funny haha -ha joke, but there is no healthcare available to us whatsoever for this run. Uh, even if I build medical posts, they won't be staffed, they won't be healing anybody. I can't imagine why I would, but the, the option is there. So anybody who gets sick will die. There's no way around that. There's absolutely no point in doing any of this because prosthetics are going to be useless because you need a medical post to put them in. Sustaining life, radical treatment are all to do with medical posts, overcrowding and rations of the ill and care house. Nope, all a waste of time. Is what I could say. Are care houses medical? They're pretty medical, so none of that. Uh, so that completely wipes out that branch of law and it completely wipes out faith healing. I don't see anybody saying whether it was Faith. They, uh, okay, Faith did come first. Looks like we're going Faith. Which blows, because that's the much harder route for this, but I guess uh, deep down you knew that. Okay, well, it doesn't really change how we're tackling this. I need resources, and I need them now. Uh, let's see, all the coal is bunched together over here, which is pretty interesting. There's some wood straggling here, so I want that taken care of. And there's some more resources over here, so I want this other wood taken care of. Steel wreckage, oh yes please. And the remaining ones should take on... Let's see how I can do this. So I can definitely get four of them. Doesn't look like I can get all five in one shot. Which means I should take you on. So five workers, five revengeers do that, but not a 24 hour shift. And for tech... Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually going to put tech on the inner ring here because the space will not be used up by our medical posts that I normally stick here. So there you go. Get to working on that, please. At the moment it's 49 over order, 45 faith. Well, it seems very American to have uh, popular vote not equal the victory here. If children die, God wills it, says Traffic. Well, those kids are going to have to go to work because I need replacements for the many who are going to die in this. There are some upsides here. They're not big upsides, but they do exist. Uh, actually, I'm going to have this on from the start. Uh, ooh, well, no, I'm going to eat a deficit if I do that because I don't have enough people plucking coal, don't I? Oh, well, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll suss it out. Oh god, you got me nine per hour. These guys don't really do that much. Oh well. 
I can get a bit more per hour if I shove five more of engineers onto it, and then this looks a bit better. Um, but I need research. I always need research, and it's going to be the bacon straight away. The reason I'm having this thing on is so that people get far less sick. They do take into account where their homes are, uh, even if their workplaces are nice and toasty. I hope you don't plan to let the mices of dead go to waste, says Dark Young. I know what you mean. We all know what you mean. And I like it. So this is me blowing like 60 coal that I would never normally be caught dead wasting, but I don't want my people dying tonight, which is a very unusual way for me to play the game. But uh, the more casualties I take, the heavier this is going to hit me. I'm not even going to wait for them to ask me to build homes. I'm going to build them just straight away. Oh, no, no, no. I could... I'm probably going to suffer pretty badly when it comes to hope, so I should make promises. Alright, let's do it that way then. You better ask for homes, bozos. There we go. No roof over our head. I will provide some shelter, but not a lot. A small promise is plenty. One, two, three, four. There, I need as many as I can get, truthfully. The cookhouse cannot be kept warm, sadly. Or could it? I wonder a bit about that. If I put the cookhouse here, uh, it wouldn't be kept warm anyway, I'm quite certain about that. Welp, fair enough. There's your tent, and it's overdrive for the evening, because I need as few people getting sick this first, uh, first bunch as possible. Even if they are working there in the bollocking cold. The engineers should be fine, right? They've been working in a lovely, toasty, warm place, but here come the sickness. There's, oh god, a tiny amount of hope. I'm not even sure that was worth my time. Uh, speaking of time, it's time for adaption. It's time for extended shift o'clock. Who works extended shifts? The answer is yes. At least we've got some homes going. Steel wreckage has been taken care of, so I will want those who were plucking steel. You guys are all fine, right? Of course they're fine. Uh, more wood is always needed. Especially early game, so get to that, please. <clears throat> Nine sick ain't too bad. Hopefully it's mostly kids. Helen Stoner is an engineer. Ooh, that's bad. I could do without my rear of engineers getting sick around here. That's as good as uh, warmth as people are going to get there. This is going to turn off now. Hopefully we get some more stuff built. But there's no guarantee on it. Especially when you guys are building, when you should be researching for me. The heck are you guys building, even? Probably this. There we go. Get to work, please. Everybody should be getting to work. There is definitely plenty to do. These can wait for now. As long as everybody's working. These nine are already dead. There's a slight exception to that, maybe, but for now we might as well just treat them as dead. Time to kill more peasants, isn't it always? Generator's shutting down, though. I just don't have the coal to sustain this kind of thing. Tonight, though, we'll build some stuff. Also, you guys need to pluck more coal, please. Right, that's a bunch of wood taken care of. What do I want? What else do I want out of them? The answer is pretty much always more wood, so get on that, please. The other one's finished their wood, too. Um, you can get on that steel, because it's so far away, please. As long as the building work is done later. There we go, we got ourselves the bacon, and I'm gonna go absolutely bonkers. It's drawing boards up next, it's not even hunter gear. Lots of people are probably going to die, so I shouldn't have too many mouths to feed. That makes uh, drawing boards a pretty astute option so that we can go for wall drilling and have unlimited wood. What else would that unlock for me, actually? More scouts. Yeah, it's a pretty sound plan. <sighs> Tonight, of course, the bacon has to be built. 
and it's not too bad to actually where does the where are the infinite resources we've got coal wood steel is over here I'm gonna need that more coal okay so I need to go out this way and this way bit of a bummer but what you're gonna do I'll probably have this built out here if I got the time yep that's exactly what I'm thinking five of those sick could become scouts I have to put use uh, put the sick to use as best I can People are going to get hungry tonight as well, so I need to deal with food real soon. Otherwise, though, the resources are coming in. Everybody's working, which is swell. And uh, let's get some warmth going to have as few sick as possible tonight. If such a thing even is possible. You're all a bunch of tools. There is much to be built because it's about to get even colder. We should have a gathering post erected tonight. One that takes care of as much of this as possible. That works pretty well. Where can I go to get all of these? This also works pretty well. It's blocked going along there. There we go, go, I suppose. Costs a lot of wood, but uh, needs must. There we go. i got to keep people relatively warm as the temperature goes down, because just more and more people are going to get sick. Homes are needed pretty urgently as well. Let's give people a lovely warm, overdrivey evening. <sighs> are you going to play Tropico 6? Because you seem to enjoy Tropico 4, says Atru Shomix. I haven't really looked into it. The thing with Tropico is it just seems to be more of the same uh, forever and ever. Okay, I'm at a difficult point here. Soup versus food additives. Food additives will make people sick, but you get a lot more food out of it. Well, a lot more, considerably more. Uh, soup will cause people to get uh, more discontent, which is actually really bad. Actually, well, who would have thought it's pretty bad? I think I'm going to go with food additives, because although it will add to the number of sick people I have, discontent is probably going to be sky high because of my lack of ability to treat the sick. Won't we get sick if we eat that? I'm glad you're cottoning on there, ora, ora, ora. I'm also thinking it's time to force an, overtime, an emergency shift just to get that uh, tech going faster. Somebody will die, but we can have laws to deal with the dead soon enough. But I need people building stuff, so maybe I'll have that done later. There's some cheese to avoid the death from the uh, emergency shift, but I don't want to engage in that. I do want all this stuff built, though. Oh, nice. The building work is coming along swimmingly. In that case, let's also ensure that the cookhouse is built tonight. It can still function at minus 30, which is good, because we've got to get all of our cooking done at that point. There we go. Oh, right, I never did tell them to build the uh, bacon, which is also very important. So get that built as well, please. And, yeah, I think we'll... Mm, that would be a lot of discontent and a dead body. But I would really quite like to get that research going, so get to work, please. Pretty please. Whew. Once you play Tropical 4, there's not much point in playing the rest, says Backseat Zero. And there's method to his madness there. Right. It's a bit painful, but I think we'll have reallocation of labor in the morning. Well, we'll have reallocation of labor as soon as this thing is erected, because then I can send out my scouts. There we go. Beacon is built. What I will do then is I'll say, yep, yeah, get to work there, get to work there. That actually leaves me with a lot of people left that can scrape crud off the ground, so I'll get you guys to do that. And then all of these people are sick and hungry, which makes them perfect to be my scouting party. Because that's hungry people I don't have to feed and sick people I don't have to treat. Frozen Hulk, Ruined Warehouse, Supply Depot. Uh, I could do with this Frozen Hulk, because there'll be steel there, and I will need steel, but the supply depot is closer, and I want to get these guys going fast. So get out towards that. I will also have some food being cooked up tonight. And with those left over, you're already sick. 
They're, oh, well, no, these engineers are not already sick. Let's not get carried away here. Engineers are far more important to me than not engineers. So how about we look at it a different way? I have a bunch of engineers here. They're mostly not sick. So I'll have them work here in this... Uh, I'll have them work there. Those that I know are sick, they're all the better to make pluck this crud out of the ground. Well, I don't have a lot of sick people yet, but I'm sure they'll get sick. Otherwise, I have a few people left over, and they can all make me some disgust. Have the sick people cook up food. Yeah, that makes sense. Different kinds of sickness, probably. I don't know much about that. Okay, this is agreeable so far, although the, the generator is pretty stressed. Uh, I have a lot of sick people, and that's gonna, yeah, bad healthcare, people are hungry, people are literally dying. So that's not ideal. Which means of those engineers that I just said, haha, let's not have you guys do X, Y, Z. We'll have you get back in there and maximize the amount of people working in this nice, cozy, warm gathering post that I have for everybody. We must make sacrifices to survive. Keep working. I want those drawing boards. And now I have a dead body, and I need to figure out what to do with it. Cemetery would raise hope, but I don't think we're going to do that. <clears throat> Alright, I've burned enough of my coal. I need this thing turned off now. All our bleeding hardship, and for what? Well, for the sick that was about to become the dead, I think. Drawing board get, and I need to put those drawing boards to use pretty quick. The question is more scouts or... Uh, more scouts or wall drilling. How long are these guys going to spend picking up goods out of the ground for me? Probably not long enough. The wall drill would be pretty useful, but I want scouts out scouting as quickly as can be. People are furious already? Must be all that discontent, and it's only growing. And getting colder. Hell, it's getting very cold. But yes, there is plenty to do, so get to it. Ah, right, these guys have made all the food that they can, so let's try and have people eat it as infrequently as possible. And, 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 the wood situation isn't too bad. The coal situation's getting actively better. But I will have people help out in grabbing that coal, pretty please. You're going to be short on labor quickly. Would you consider a kid-run hothouse for food? I mean, anything's, uh, anything's possible, right? Alright, I need to deal with the bodies, unfortunately. Discontent and hope are... Oh, right. Discontent is too low for corpse disposal. Uh, and discontent is way above. Way above what one man can really afford. That's a bit of a shame. It's way too high. I might be able to warm people up a bit. But I want that corpse disposal law signed. Working day and night. Oh, God, no. You will have to stop using emergency shift for three days. That I can actually do, right? They're not currently on... The, they'd already finished their um, their emergency shift, so I guess that's okay-ish. Let's try and warm people up to get rid of that discontent a bit. Whilst people keep dying. And people are actually unhappy because of the lack of corpse disposal, which is pretty bad. Hmm, and I need to start passing laws soon, but this one will uh, cane my discontent a bit. Well, at least unhappy people are dying, so that should help us out a bit with reaching the discontent issues. There we go, great. We killed enough unhappy people, so let's have them even unhappier, as they have to bury each other. Oh, and uh, yeah, your overtime shifts are back in business, guys. Get to it figure out who's dying and who can be uh, reallocated around here. <clears throat> I have a lot of people freed up courtesy of well, courtesy of lots of things. You guys need to get back to work. How I would love to do this again for you though. And I'm afraid we can't have overdrive anymore. 
Basically, it's all bad, but such is what happens. Alright, let's shove our snow pit over there. Bodies dumped in the snow like rubbish. What have we come to? Well, you've just accurately described what we've come to. Thankfully, though, being able to dispose of bodies is going to get rid of the discontent around there being dead bodies. But there are going to be yet more sick people tonight. At least the hungry are fed, right? Medicine is the tool of the devil, says Random Stranger. As you're going to be short on labor, yeah. I don't think we're going to be investing in food anytime soon, because those that are really hungry will die, and then we'll have fewer mouths to feed, and hopefully everything works out. Still, of our 72 people, 21 of them are sick. Which is pretty rubbish for me right now, but the discontent has gone way down. So you got to take the good with the bad here. Alright, supply depot get. Raw food and wood is so-so. Rock formation and still covered supplies. Uh, I'll probably go rock formation, because when there's nothing it usually results in something. We'll get some extra scouts very soon and we'll make sure it's some sick and starving. Well, we don't have starving people, but sick people at least. I have a lot of free people right now actually. Let's have them work even harder. Uh, again, wood is not the big problem right now, but there is a ton of coal here to be plucked out, so get plucking, guys, even though it's freezing cold out there. There's ups and downs, but we're alive. Let's keep it that way. If only we had some kind of houses of healing to deal with all the sick. A healing house, if you will. More scouts get. Now let's uh, let's invest in, 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 in. See, normally I rush for heaters and something to keep my medical posts functional, but if the medical posts aren't going to function anyway, what's the worry? These livable places are going to become cold very soon. That's going to be a lot more sick, but uh, what you're going to do? What I am going to do is probably invest in a wall drill so that I have all the wood I could ever need forever. I'm also going to need to invest in getting steel because I feel like I'm going to be very short on that since I need to invest in automatons. <sighs> Did I hear Jake yesterday say he would not play Frostpunk for the foreseeable future? And that's the thing, you didn't see it coming. So, about those scouts of mine. Oh great, we got uh, incredibly sick people that we can make do it. And those are all four of them, so there we go, that's our five. Hopefully they don't die on the way out of the city, because that will probably kill the scouting party. But we'll go towards the Frozen Hulk, because I need steel, most likely. As long as they get out of here without dying... Oh my, I've got even more gravely sick people. Expedition, 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 okay. I mean, they're going to die anyway, it doesn't make that much difference to me, but I know I have 21 deaths incoming. And they're not even mostly kids, unfortunately. Coal pile depleted, that's kind of good. It means the amount of coal I'm getting is right up there. But I need other jobs for my people, and I need them fast. I think a clever thing to do is to have a second workshop so we can get researching even faster. Sadly, I said I wouldn't do emergency shifts for another couple of days. I would like to alternate those already, truth be told. Oh yeah, going to build. Well, not yet. Please get to work. Show me the resource. Okay, it's law o'clock now. Child labor would be pretty useful, because I have all these kids that aren't working for me, but hope is going to be a real problem soon. We said we'd go faith, which means I have to build a couple of these things. That's a lot of wood and steel that I don't really have to build with right now. i got 65 wood, and there's 67s there. That's going to be a bit painful, actually. But if I don't start going through these laws, I'll never be able to deal with the massive loss of hope I'm going to have when people start dying. And they are going to die. Is this a normal extreme? <laughs> we always <clears throat> run on uh, extreme. So of course it is extreme. 
Uh, okay. I think I'll hold off on building these just yet, because my hope's about to nosedive, and I want to at least have a little bit of time to deal with it. Our people will surely appreciate it, as do I. Of course. Good, I miss praying together. I miss having enough wood to build everything I want. So get to work, you chumps. After this double drop of temperature, we're in a bad place. Actually, my gathering posts are going to be too cold to really function that well, but too bad. People are going to get sick and they will die, and that's just a risk I'm willing to take. Well, the kids won't die, and the kids' deaths are the ones that really murder hope. Adults dying is eh. I wonder if we have any sick kids. Just a couple of them. What? Wait, the kids are disposing of corpses? Good, it builds character. Okay. Should always have people working in these lovely warm uh, gathering posts wherever possible. They're more efficient, they're warmer, fewer people get sick. It's just all good. Can you start removing a tent now? I might need these tents uh, if I find survivors at the Frostland, which will be good as long as they're not sick. Hopefully they aren't. Uh, I did the lawless one on normal, <clears throat> and even then I couldn't do it. Lawless is just a whole different kind of beast, because there's no way to deal with hope. It's, it's not really lawless run, it's hopeless run. I still didn't get my wall drill. Well, at least our scouts are out there and safe. Let's get this thing built tonight then. Is there anything else I need built tonight? I should probably... These things are only active when the, the road actually reaches them, so how about, how about, that is not how I want it to be, I'm going to need to get to these steel places anyway, but I am terrifically low on wood. There you go. That'll get everybody a bit more hopeful, but they won't be active until the road reaches them. So let's not have the road reach them. Like, at all. I forget that. Give me my wood. I can have the road reach them when I really need uh, the hope to be restored, because it'll count as keeping a promise. And you know me, I always keep my promises. Revengineers get to working here. Notice that none of these guys have... Well, only one of those guys have gotten sick because they work in a lovely warm facility. It's about to get so cold, though. I can't have people uh, get amputated out in the freezing cold. I mean, I can, and I will, but it'll be bad for me. Oh, damn, that counted? Even though they don't have a connection? Oh, well. That was not what I was hoping to do. Still, hope is relatively okay, given that we had so many people die. And we will have we will continue to have so many people die. They're eating sawdust. They are... Well, there's lots of bad things happening to them. Okay, these guys I don't want to just have die out there, so I'm going to have them as my wildcard people to build what I need, and I will need some stuff built real soon. At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. Hmm. I think Jake would do well in the National Frostpunk League, the NFL. It's gotten real competitive lately. I don't see uh, a lot of other extreme runs done in this game, but uh, that's not too important to me. I enjoy what I do, and that's all that matters. Okay, wall drill get. The question is where we go from here. Heaters would be good at keeping my people relatively alive, but I know they're going to die anyway, so I should fast track my way towards resources. If I get steelworks, then I can shove my people into making steel and then blitz my way towards having some actual automatons because if I don't have people, I need somebody that can get these resources for me. I'm still an enormous fan of the wall drill. I never won't be. That's pretty much all my wood gone. But I'll have people working on that. So people will get incredibly sick working in this extreme cold. That's fine. They are very, uh, very expendable. The important thing is to have those that are already sick doing it. Here's a problem. I have all these people that are not sick, that are not uh, work 
Yeah, I need the sick working here, right? I have all these people that are not sick, but it always draws from the sick people first, so that's not easy. Sorry, it draws from the healthy people first when I assign people to industry. That's what I'm trying to say. Not that there's a safe place for anyone to work right now. Alright, on come the deaths, but as long as they're not children, um, bad things, well, the, the worst of things won't happen. Okay, what have you got by the rock formation? Circle of stones, that's practically perfect. Let's go and bring them home. Unless I want to pursue a steam core and get those guys later. But I think lack of labor is going to hurt me quite soon if I don't. Circle of stones, I could send them back. That would come with its own problems though, and many would die. Uh, I could do that and then just double back out, because I know there are steam cores out there. But without people, I'm kind of boned. Some healthy people coming back would be pretty useful. Most specifically, without engineers, I'm a bit boned, because I need those guys for researching. Alright, well, let's keep it going. Let's get this built up before the working day is done as well, so I can actually have some wood coming in. Wood needed. There we go. Good. What a difference it makes having some actual wood income. 12 per hour. These guys are almost done with their wood, and then there's very little left to actually pick up. Sent them back alone, they'd die anyway, whether they like it or not. Oh, some might survive. Look, there's plenty of our initial 80 who are not only still alive, they're not even sick. Three kids are about to die, that's going to hit my hope pretty bad. Uh, we have some people become horribly ill because they're working in such cold conditions. Too bad. I mean, really too bad. They have to keep working. I'm actually overflowing in coal, which is an unusual feeling. Let's draw away from you and ensure that we always have enough people working in the other places. Ah, the big thaw is coming. It's going to take me up to minus 20, which will be pretty good. Today's the worst of it. We'll get through. And as long as it's these people who are dying, then I'm pretty fine. Uh, the hope is getting hit pretty badly, though. I need more hope laws. Steel wreckage is done. This thing will be dismantled this evening. But I do need more jobs for people, so, so we should get the steelworks uh, researched and built tonight. There we go, all done. Dismantle, please. People are happier because they don't have all these overtime shifts to work. These guys are pretty healthy. Lovely. That's just what we need. Steam steelworks. Uh, well, regular steelworks get. Now I'm quite tempted to go drafting machines so that I can fast track the factory into faster scouts. Is that the right thing to do? The answer is there's no wrong thing to do, except anything other than that. With the steelworks, the oh no, that's a pretty wrong thing. I don't have the wood to build my steelworks. Costs 25 wood, but you're about to get me all that wood, so we should be okay. And with that dismantled, there we go. That's what we need. Steelworks get. Road to steelworks. Don't get. At least not yet. There we go. <laughs> off time. What is off time? Ooh, one of my engineers died, and that is not good. I'm down to ten engineers, so I wouldn't dare have one work somewhere that isn't on hardcore research right now. Not too shabby. I mean, it's not good, but it's not shabby. And the rebirth of faith. Well, we're going to need faith where we're going. What's your plan for this run? Just rush automatons? I don't really have a plan. I'm jumping into this one fairly blind. But the automatons seem the most logical thing to do because my workforce is going to drain. Hell, it is draining very fast. Just like my hope. But rushing automatons isn't so simple, right? You need wood and coal and steam cores and steel. Lots of steel. And I don't have lots of steel. Fortunately, this frozen hulk should help out. 48 steel and a bad and hollow to boot. Let's keep on exploring. More people die through the night, but that's to be expected. It is pretty cold. But it's only chilly inside their homes. Gosh darn, that's a lot of deaths coming in. Let's uh, cut back any amount of people getting me coal right now. Coal is not the, necess uh, the necessary part right now. Shrines. Shrines are good. Shrines also cost steel. Evening prayers cost food. 
so the steel has it, but if I get to the temple, hope won't be such a problem. But shrines are really freaking good. It's like early agitators. I think the clever thing to do is to build a road out here for two wood, and that way my one shrine can affect two workplaces. Then I build another shrine over here that affects you, and then I run out of wood, but that's okay. People seem pretty angry tonight. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. I need wood and I need steel, and I have nobody else to do anything else. Going for a transition into the no-pops run, Jake? Sure feels like it. Captain's a bloody fool. Does our misery not count for anything? I mean, don't ask the question if you don't want the answer. I'm almost tempted to skimp on the research just so I can have more uh, production, but I can't afford to think that way. Temperature rises, that's very nice. It's going to rise a whole lot, so we have three days of relative comfort. So goodbye overdrive. And I want those stone circle people back so that they can live and work during the golden age of warmth. Otherwise, we're not really missing out on anything, other than all the people that are about to die. Alright, Circle of Stones, Survivors. Mountainside Cave is nice and all, but I need these survivors. There are not a lot of kids, which is great. That's 30 fairly workable people, so let's get them back in here. Breath of Hope from the Shrine, excellent. Promise Fulfilled, also excellent. Wait, promise? Oh, I didn't make people work 24-hour shifts. Well... Who's going to work the next 24-hour shift? Will it be the steelworks or the research? Or both? With the drafting machines unlocked, I can fast-track that factory, but factory needs a load of steel. You're bringing wood back, which is good, and I have the coal, and I have the steam cores, but I need that steel, so I think we're going to have a 24-hour run at the factory to, uh, in the steel factory tonight. Sure, it's a cold place to work, but I need that everything right now. Oh, and people keep dying. But, you know, nobody's perfect. Oh, dang, I'm facing a great loss of engineers right now, and if I run out of en- Well, no, we have a fresh chunk of engineers coming in uh, in a day. Unfortunately, they're going to arrive in the middle of the night, so they won't be particularly... Uh, productive for me, but what you gonna do? It's law time. Are we hurting on hope? Damn right we're hurting on hope, but the people we bring back with us should bring fresh hope. So are there adaption laws that can help us out at this point? Organ transplants are useless. Organic fertilizer less so. Children working is pretty good, but children dying is pretty bad. It's all a question of perspective, really. Now in the Baron Hollow, I think large crater is survivors. I often forget, but we'll have to keep checking. Surely we can find a way to educate some of them. Well, don't think of it as child labor. Think of it as uh, occupational learning. Uh, right, I am very invested in having lots of steel right now. So I am, despite the very low uh, output of steel, going to make these guys work a 24-hour shift. One of them's disposing of a corpse. Why corpse disposal, he asks, on a map with no health care? You make a, an excellent point there. If I had gone instead for cemeteries, I could have built a cemetery and had funerals, which halves the hit of hope for every death. But faith is very good at dealing with hope, so I hope to counteract that. Then I don't have to invest the time and the resources in building a cemetery. And also, redacted. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm actually going to want that second steel works for when I have these other survivors arrive. I have the wood for it. So there we go. Go. No, no. Okay. There you go, then. Refusal to work? That's not how this works, chap. Get back to work. Oh, yeah. We're a little low on food. I should start thinking about how I'm going to deal with that. I don't need a lot of food where I'm going, so maybe, just maybe, a single hunter hut. 11 food is 33 rations, which should get a lot of our people running through the, the worst of it, right?
Silly Idea says, Ah, so this run is no health buildings. No, it's medical care costs money. But nobody here has any money. So, sucks to be them. They'll have to pray their wounds better. Oh, I often forget I can sermon to raise hope. It's not a lot, but it's something. And something is often better than nothing. We're still a ways away from having these guys come in and help, but I now have children that can pick coal out of the ground. Still, though, I gotta gotta balance everything else against each other. Research is pretty important, though. I need that factory so I can get automatoming. Oh god, 24 of our 44 people are sick. Four of them, eight of them gra uh, gravely. And people are still disposing of corpses. 31 corpses and counting. Still, we have what we need to get our robot friend going for now, but the output of uh, the wall drill is too low for my liking. I hope to god these people I bring back aren't sick, or else that's just gonna... It's gonna hurt pretty badly. Wait, I have free... Oh, I have children, they're free. It's warm enough, I could have them dig some coal out of the ground, but there's really not a lot they even need to do for that. Uh, the workers, when they come back, all 15 of them, I'm going to have them go hunting because we're too short on food right now. Evening prayers would unlock our way to more stuff. But if I get children all... No, that just causes more problems. Fighting arena costs wood, although it does kill discontent a bit. Evening prayers, again, they cost food. House of Healing is a no-go anyway. Let's try and work on the... Uh, on the discontent problem. I don't know where the bulk of my people live, but I'll take a I'll take a hazard that it's over there. And then this should actually reduce discontent a little bit. I'm itching to see a good fight. Well, it's all these horrifically ill people. A woman in despair? Uh, I can't really stand a lot of discontent. Uh, well, I can't stand either of these. Let's just have hope fall a little bit. And ensure that it is a little bit. Dang, the wood income is super low. Teching is going to be very, very difficult. Lots of people dying. Oh, damn, I, I should have put a shrine on these. Why in the world did I not shrine my workshops? I'll do that later on. Lots of people dying, though. Factory, get. Lighter scout sleds would be excellent at this point. Steam steelworks would also be excellent at this point. But they cost steel to build, which is a bit... Yeah... <sighs> I do want my scouts being faster. I need more stuff from the Frostlands. Come on, kids. Help each other out. Food for overtime work. Yes, they do deserve it. This will stop them from just dying when I do it. And I need to raise that hope a little bit. Because there's a lot of bad things happening to hope right now. At least we really won out on the uh, the steel front, but in terms of people left, there aren't many. Actually, ten of our workers are outside the city, so it's really just nine workers, six engineers, and nine kids. And it's going down before it's going up. Let's have a nice warm evening, everybody. Actually, this is a bit useless, right? Because we're already as toasty as can be. All right, ugh, more survivors. I'm not sure if that's what I need right now. I need, oh, there's not a lot of kids. That makes you a particularly good bunch of survivors to have. But some of them may die. But I will get this steel back. Yeah, I'll boost the survivors. Well, we can keep going. You know, it's not the end of the world yet. Our engineers aren't too great right now, which is a shame. But I can't ignore my own needs here. Let's get that factory going. Let's get that... Oh god, I don't have the wood for the automaton now. Let's get that shrine going for these buildings, all of them. I could actually order another 24-hour shift if I really needed resources. 
and uh, I kind of really need resources. So I think I'll have the wall drill work through the night. I didn't promise I wouldn't, right? Get to it, lads. This is not necessary right now. One I'll have to do. Also, I'm actually going to shove two engineers on that just to maximize the efficiency through the night. If they get sick, they're basically dead, yes. If they get sick, there's no basically about it that they are dead. Also, it's game over if you only have kids left. Okay, this could help out. 15 workers, get me some food, please. They actually brought some food with them as well, which is quite nice. And get back out there, because there must be steam cores and steel out there, and I need both. Well, I want both. Need is a relative term. They appear not to be uh, getting me stuff right now, but the fighting arena is built. Discontent down a bit, hope up a bit. That's actually quite nice. Very quite nice. And I have the resources I need to build the automaton, which is great. Hell, we're actually going over and above when it comes to wood. So let's have uh, huntery hutties, which I'm never going to actually build, just to uh, chew up the wood for a bit. Let's max these guys out for research. And those guys are out getting food, even if though, even if it's just a little drop of it, that's better than out. Don't need houses when you're away all day hunting, says Zarek. Well, actually, you do. I still need the steel, so get to move, get moving on with that, chaps. But I need a factory as well, so that's a pretty big priority. More people dying, but the shrines are built, so hope kind of balances out a bit. Factory is up. And almost on the go. I need it going pretty damn immediately though, so I shall have you get that and getting that built. There we go. Don't really have the steel to build a second one, and I don't have the steam core to build a second one, but I will. I could actually dismantle this, build a second one, dismantle this, rebuild the uh, the wall drill, and be happy with that. Because then I can have a wall drill and a steelworks working 24-7 under the automaton, whilst the rest of my people can actually focus on things like feeding themselves, which is pretty important. But I will end this day with an automaton, we know that for certain. i got kids that ain't working, that's a damn shame. But lighter scout sleds are pretty important, so I do want those. Alright, let's get that steel rolling in for another one, but we won't build it just yet because I want to keep everything else running. There we go, that should be good. Oh damn, I didn't put this in range of the shrine. Not that it matters because the automaton is not affected by the holy powers of the shrine. So this is alright-ish so far. Discontent is manageable, so I could certainly do for a... Uh Actually, it's about to get too cold for the cookhouse to be functional, so I should cook up everything I have into delicious sawdusty bread. Hopefully people don't eat during that time. Keep yourselves hungry, guys. Hungry for success. Child injured at work! <laughs> Stop being so careless, kiddo! We're all trying our best to survive here. Alright, this looks okay-ish. I want to keep these guys working as hard as they can, but... Uh, oh, that's right, I had kids make those uh, that bit of food. Fair enough. At least coal isn't a problem. Yet, once that 700 runs out, it will be a sizable problem. And we're going to be back in minus 50ville for the long haul soon, so I need to be ready for that. Oh, okay, five more de uh, guaranteed deaths coming around. I wish it told me who they were here, because that's kind of important, but a death's a death. Okay, lighter scout sleds get. The question is, where do we go from there? 
I'm thinking hot houses because it's a good way to put my kids to work. But hot houses need to be kept warm, so they wouldn't be good enough on their own. They only have base one heating, so uh, as soon as it's minus 40, they won't work. And minus 50, they're scuppered. So yeah, alone they're not good enough. Hunter gear is another idea. Steam steel works another particularly good idea. Because then steel just rolls in a lot better forever. Alright, steamy steel works it is, please. If I get more steel, I get more automatons. And please stop dying, guys. Come on! There's no need to be like that. We're about to get a fresh influx of survivors. More than we can actually house, I think. 10, 20, 30, 40 of them. Yeah, we'll have some homelessness, but they're going to die anyway, so it's not really worth me giving them homes. Taking the true American approach to this. Yeah, two children have died. People really hate it when the kids die for some reason. Alright, the day is coming to a close. And they are really buying it. I didn't expect to find more survivors so quickly, but the extra steel and coal insertion will be quite nice. Tempted to have a resource depot for all this coal that's kind of piling up at this point. And get people building something tonight. It's always nice to have the um, the freedom, shall we say, to expand our resource piles. Even if that comes at the cost of steel, but I mean, I'll get that steel back soon enough, thanks to the glorious power of the automaton. Speaking of which, I like to name my automatons after people in chat, so if you want to be a replacement name for Superior, superior Scotsman, you let me know. I'm not saying Jake has a problem, but more Frostpunk says Tanku? Listen, I'll stop playing this game when there stops being amazing challenges for it. I'm a superior Dutchman, says Mort, securing the fact that he will never be a name for one of these. We have Darky Young, or Darky Ung, or whatever he wants to be. Yeah, that was perfect. There we go. No capitals again. What is it with people not capitalizing their names? Perhaps it's some kind of hip and trendy thing that I'm not in with. Again, survivors arriving after night time is a bit of a painful blow, but what's also painful is not having people working emergency shifts when I could have loads of steel coming in. So please get working that emergency shift. Uh, that includes these lazy buggers in the workshop. Get your asses to work. I need that everything. Costs food rations, but that's okay. They're sawdust filled food rations, which is fine. My hunters are all resting right now. Since I'm about to get more people in, I would actually like that second hunter hut erected. There we go. I've got people to come in and do it. Now I want you guys straight out there again. Um, I don't know which of these actually have the, uh, the resources in them. Check the windswept snowfield. Hopefully there's a uh, something with... Hopefully there is something with steam cores beyond there, because I need steam cores right now. These people that arrived, they're not sick, which is good. I'm a little lacking in jobs for them, which is not good, but uh, I'll have them work in this soon enough. I think it's time to have the dueling law. People may be killed in a duel, that sounds good to me. I mean, they're going to die anyway. <laughs> Might as well have them kill each other. I wonder how the old notions of honor apply in our new world. You're just going to let people kill each other? Where's the justice in that? It's self-defense, baby. Nobody will infringe upon your inalienable rights. Should have the snow pit as our dueling area. That way we don't have to carry the bodies once they're done. I'm sorely tempted to get that automaton on the go by dismantling and then remantling this. Alright, what you got there? You're back in Circle of Stones. I think Mountainside Cave has something for you. If it doesn't, we'll check out the snow-covered supplies. Whatever the case, I need those steam cores. 
I also need more capacity for coal, and I will soon need the same for wood, but that's less of an issue because there are ways around that. Protective mother. I don't make exceptions. Well, actually, hope rising. I don't make exceptions. Get back to work, you lazy bum. There we go. More food for our people to get. I abhor the idea of people going out hunting for food when they only get 11 per day. That's not even one piece of food per worker per day. It's abhorrent, but the needs are dire. Speaking of needs, let's get both of these upgraded while we can. You're going to build your new home. You guys will get building that as well. The sooner the better. And then what do we go for next? I don't have a renewable source of coal, which super sucks, but it's about to get really cold. That also super sucks. If I get more power than something like heaters or hubs, then I can go towards getting my hot houses, which are going to be pretty important. The coal will last for now. But this should stop too many people getting sick, because when we're in minus 50 land, oh, it will not be so nice. It will not be so nice. Lots of immigrants doesn't fit with the rest of that, Como. Faith, dueling law, no health care. Lots of immigrants. Welcome to the mind of a... Oh, let's not, let's not go there, right? There's no need for that. I have a lot of unemployed bums, and I don't like that at all. But I don't really have jobs for them. I already built up uh, a lot of things that I could have work for. And all the unemployed schmucks are... Hmm. Actually, what I could do is build another hunter hut. Don't really like the layout of that over there, but it's not going to be much better over here. Build another couple of these. It's not like I don't have the wood for it. And then... No, oh, I'm never going to have that many workers, so we'll just keep it at that. Never say never, but I'm really never going to have that many. So my spare Revengineers will go and build this. And this. And then they will replace these workers, and then we'll get some of this, uh, some more hunting being done. A sound plan, dare I say. Running a touch low on all that coal, though. Excellent, there's a whole lot more steel coming in. A whole lot more steel. Look at that. That is swell. I suppose we could have more food being made. No, we can't. I forgot. It's too cold for you. Oof. That's pretty bad. All the more reason I should get heaters before tomorrow is done, or else these 38 rations are not going to last. All right, fleshless giants can take care of everything else. Working day and night. That is a good idea. Keep working day and night. In fact, it's a good idea for me to tell these guys to also work day and night so that our research can continue on. I like the go-getting attitude of these people. I'll wait till this one has expired, which should be soon enough, or rather when the working day comes to a draw, comes to a close. So there we go, I got all this saved up, and I'm full on wood actually, which is also not good. Uh, I'll can you, do this, do that, and then I have some more people going out hunting for me. And that's pretty much all my workers focused on food production, which ain't great, but it'll have to do for now. There we go. A healthy 41 bodies thus far. It's going to be added to real soon. Alright, now it's nice and warm in the centre, so I won't have too many sick people in the minus 50. But I want some heaters just so that we're not really killing ourselves with this. And heaters plus steam hub will allow me to make a hubbed area here for pure food production. And the kids can get to that, which is fine. And discontent drops because I keep people warm. 
And, yeah, I mean, that's worth it for a promise, right? All I have to do is build a single tent. Doesn't even have to be a good one. And I'll do it in range of both the church and the uh, and the fighting arena. So whilst they might be bollocking cold, at least they will be able to pray and watch some fights. Speaking of praying, let's have a nice sermon tonight. Alright, this is uh, borderline acceptable. But this 24-hour shift is almost done, and I want another one. So, uh get to work. Just endless research. It's amazing how progressive you can be when you don't care about people's lives. I'm getting real flashbacks to the cannibalism run. Alright, raw food and wood. Oof, that's not good. Nothing else there, so I'm gonna go this way and pray that there's some steam cores over here. If I play it right, then I'll get uh, four steam cores. If I play it wrong, I could get two or even zero. Both of those outcomes mighty suck for me. Hope rises because they have some frozen tents to now stay in. And, you know, at least they're not these other homeless schmucks. You know, I could well have these guys working 24 hours on the wall drill as well. But when the temperature goes down even more, people are going to be very unhappy. So let's call Canny on that for now. I really think I would benefit from that extra automaton at this point, but I'll just work people until they're dead first. Okay, heater get. That's nice. If I go steam hub and then hot house, we're in the money. But I'm about to face a new wave of death. God, I'm so tired. Every day's the same grind, but you're right. We have to keep going. Those coal piles are running out swiftly. I need those steam cores and some coal mines. Replace the dead kids and keep rolling. We're fast approaching the cap for steel, which is also not great. So I need another resource depot. The thing about this map is that it's very small. If you've played the uh, the refugee scenario, this is the map from that, and it's a titchy amount of space to use. It's might even be less than Crater, and Crater is practically no room. Lots of hungry, lots of sick. Let's give double rations to... <laughs> oh my... At least these guys haven't lost their sense of humor. Alright, it's working time, so I'm going to have... Wait, we don't have the heaters yet. No, we do. We do, we do, we do, we do. Let's have that dusty uh, sawdust food made for them all. The kids are going to eat, but once they get their own food, they're going to cook up about 60 meals for everybody else. Great. Steam hub is nice. Now we can go towards hot housing which works particularly well with everything. Requires steam core, unfortunately, so I'm really going to have to draw the line somewhere uh, when it comes to steam cores. It's going to be a difficult line to draw as well. Do I actually want the hot house? There's another question. No, I can force kids to work 24 hours a day. People will be unhappy at them dying, but I won't, so yeah, that's a good idea. We'll get that done and we'll stockpile every bit of food we can before the big F and the big F is not far away, so please find the resources out there. If I don't get steam hubs, I'm in a... Uh, if I don't get steam cores, I'm in a very bad space. Alright, we're looking okay on the food at least. So can that. Lots of sickos, lots of lacking in steel. Come on, steam cores. I think research outpost is steam cores, so we'll get two at this rate. Here we go, just to bank up some of that steel, we'll dump it there whilst this is getting built. And steam steel works so good. It's law o'clock. Um, 
I'm going to make kids do all jobs purely so that they can help out with the building. People won't like me for it. Hope will drop and discontent will rise. Hope will drop a lot, but we'll make it. I got four more axes. How's your schedule looking? I don't understand what you're getting at there, Mike. But I often don't. So since kids can help out with the building, that makes all this construction work go a whole lot faster. Now I don't need these just hanging around, wasting time and space. And once the hothouse is built, we can begin planning how that's going. But I also need to get a coal mine so that we can actually have some, um, some coal production done. Oh no. Another wave of death is going to arrive, which is all the more reason that I need to have a somewhat autonomous city going for the big freeze. I'll make people kill themselves, but, uh, oh man, why do I not have more 24-hour uh, researching going? Doesn't matter, since the work shift is about to start anyway, but when it does, I need to be ready for that. Welcome to cold! I actually don't want these people dying off just yet, so I'm going to raise the temperature in the collecting area and there. So now I won't have people instantly becoming gravely ill, because that shaves off like two, um, two days of usefulness. There's plenty to do. This is done, so it can go away. And that's just kids. They're a waste of space anyway. Otherwise, we're keeping on with what we have here. Ah, but since I have a lot of free kids, and they're not doing a lot for me anyway, chunk. I can research, well, I can build up the hothouse, but I want to build uh, two more automatons first so that I can have wood, steel, and f coal constantly produced. I think that's what I focus on. Speaking of... We're going to need coal. No ways around it. The coal mine doesn't produce tons of coal, but it produces some, and some is good enough. So, get researching, please. Offering to put you to work. Going to order a cord of wood and make it through the winter. Excellent. Wish I could reinforce people here with wood so they don't get so cold, but I guess that's what the bunkhouse is all about. Alright, excellent. Two steam cores is better than no steam cores. Get back to the United States of America with the oil. I mean, uh, steam cores that you have found out there just lying around unclaimed. Okay, this is very acceptable. And I'll get those steam cores in a day. Ah... Very unlikely that I'm going to find a steam core in time out there. I'm only I'm gonna to have to make do with just two, which super blows. Which means two I will make two um automatons. I should probably just dismantle this and then work and make the automaton tomorrow. I have plenty of wood. And a lot of dead people. Yeah, look, they're even complaining that they're hitting the cap of, uh, of wood again. Let's make sure we actually have the dead people replaced. I could make the kids work in these horrible conditions, but I'm actually going to be nice and not. Jake's giving out people frostbite again. Yeah, and this time I'm not treating it whatsoever. People are, it's meant to be cold. Of course I'm not going to address that right now. Day's work is about to end, so I shall sign one emergency shift and just drink that discontent, because discontent is good for the soul. That's the thing about playing with uh, faith. It's pretty hard to manage discontent, but we'll do our best. And I'm going to try to avoid being extreme in faith laws. I like pragmatism. We could get by even without evening prayers, maybe. Ain't easy being the nice guy. 
Okay, we should probably just dismantle the wall drill tonight so that I get a steam core and then I can build an automaton. Um, not an automaton, we'll build the hothouse first so that I can force kids to work 24 hours a day making food for me. And we got our coal mining going, I'll want that soon enough, but the coal we have is going to last us a few days. Uh, and I have a bit more coal coming back, although not a lot. So, 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 sodio. We can have a state of relative warmth out here. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. If I have you there, and we have the cookhouse here, and we just heat all of the uh, all three of these, we're in a pretty good space. I put you in a bad spot, didn't I? Particularly bad spot. I can get rid of you, dismantle the street beneath you. Have that there. I can't think of anything else I'd need heated here except perhaps another hot house. To that extent, how well would a steam hub work? It would work pretty well right there. Then I could get another hot house on this side. That's pretty good actually. It heats this uselessly, but I'll take it. And I will need, of course, that shrine relocated to somewhere that affects all of these places again. It doesn't need to affect this, because that's going to have an automaton on it from now till the end of time. So there we go. Lots of things to build. And I was able to do so with the power of the core. Another two cores coming back. Both of those are going to be sunk into automatons. Yeah, both of them into automatons. That way I can have automated steam steelworks, automated coal mining, and automated wood drilling if I disassemble this during the big freeze, because it won't work during that time anyway. Now let's get that research going, because I was ignoring that for an unfortunately long time. Hothouse. Currently needs two extra levels of heating, but it will get that courtesy of the, sh uh, the steam hub, so that's okay. What else could we invest in? Mechanical calculators would get me better automatons and a better coal mi No, coal mining is a bit further away. Oh no, no, it would bring me down here. It's an option. It is certainly an option. Bunk houses. Fewer people will uh, freeze in the big freeze. And I have the resources to build them, so let's have them. There's another 19 souls that are definitely going to die. You're not going to work 24-7, you're going to work extended shift hours to keep these suckers warm. Mild frostbite, probably someone from here, and probably several people from that godforsaken tent. Um, discontent is too high for me to order these kids to work 24 hours a day, but their time will come. Don't worry, everybody gets the, uh, the chance to help out the city in their own way. Oh, that's right, I never did build my cookhouse over here, and it will be needed. People are furious. Well, just calm down, everybody. Nothing to worry about right now. Industrial ruin supply trailer. 16 hours to get there. Mm, but it's 24 hours. A day. Another day. We'll risk it for a biscuit. Go and get me those cores. Those cores are worth more than your lives. Jake should go down the order road so he can have a prison industrial complex rolling on. Listen, I put it to the vote and it was tight, but Faith won. Jake, they're deathly sick anyway, yes, but they could still serve the city beyond death. Our workers won't endure this much longer. Oh, come on. 
Well, I guess being cold at home isn't helping situation, but once we have bunkhouses going, you'll all be a whole lot happier. <laughs> One of the kids is disposing of a corpse, so not working. You guys are building, though. What are you... Oh, probably this. Probably this. Kids are going to eat, which makes a little bit of sense at least. Yeah, lack of treatment. It happens. Oh, speaking of it happens, remember when I had hope? Because uh, my city doesn't. Actually, it's going to be pretty difficult to raise that hope without good purpose laws, especially when people keep dying. We'll do our bet. Uh, oh no, we're going to have a lot of people dying. That hope's about to get nuked. Like, super nuked. I will need evening prayers just to try to raise hope. But discontent is too low for such things right now. Well, as long as they're angry about the discontent, they won't be angry about the lack of hope. So we can hold on for a little bit. And before impeachment, nope. You can try, but you will fail. You cannot cast me out. I am the ruler. A couple of steam cores about to come in. We have what it takes to build a couple of automatons. Well, in a little bit. This is burning through my coal, though. I really need those uh, those steam cores for that mine. It's a lot of coal lost per day. Can we just nuke the storm before it nukes your hope? I like the way you think, but it might not work that way. Okay, if I go for mechanical calculators, then I can get an even better coal mine, which could be more useful than I think. So we'll do it. We're doing a 24-hour shift for it anyway. Stop disposing of corpses, right? They're not exactly going to melt out there. blame China for minus 10% discontent. I like it, but it won't help us out here. No adaption laws are going to raise hope at this point. I'll actually sustain life would, but people are too mad at me to even consider that. And since discontent is... Oh no! Sweet, people are actually happy enough to let me sign the evening prayer law. But uh, discontent is dangerously high. I need people to chill out a bit. See, I'm giving them food at least. What's the problem? Seriously, what the heck are you guys' problem? This amount of food will surely last us through the bulk of the big freeze, so I'm going to turn this off for now. Have those kids just run around. And let's get some fully automated love going on here. Get to work. Tell me I didn't dismantle this. I did not dismantle this. A lot of people going to dismantle corpses, though. Corpses are fun and all, however... I need that place working more than this right now. Nice. Getting that done super fast on the extended shift. And that's not the only one I want, right? I want two. Hopefully they make it to that supply trailer and then back in time. The journey home is going to take... One day and four hours. Ooh, hurry up, guys. All right, I have uh, about 30 people that are about to drop dead. Once the second one is done, we dismantle the factory for extra resources. of death happening right now. Truthfully, I don't need all these hunters right now. I'm going to withdraw some of them so I can have more, I don't know, steel. I doubt you're going to get this done in the next couple hours. Oh my days, what a victory! The automaton is built just in time. That's very nice. Um, kids are too unhappy to be working properly, so I'll send my automatons to work over here. 
And then I get this thing demolished once the other guy emerges. And you made it. Get me those cores. Two and get home so fast, please. They are going to be storm chasers. Except it's a storm that's chasing them. Too cold for this place to work, sadly. So let's keep this thing on 24-7. A waste of, uh, of coal, you might say. And I'm inclined to agree, because coal is the one thing we're burning on, not food. So let's say no to that. And instead have the automaton do something else. But I don't have other automaton jobs. Let's get this thing dismantled so we can have other automaton jobs. Well, at least all these deaths are freeing up some homes. Homes within the lovely warm inner ring. Also, also, let's get some bunkhouses erected tonight. At least five of them so that... Uh, yeah, because after the 21 drop dead, we're only going to have 50-something. Uh, so yeah, six of them should house all the people that will survive long enough. And also, also, I need that coal. So let's erect a coal mine tonight and stick an automaton on it. And that automaton never, ever leaves it. Lots of building work, but since I have children uh, doing all work, they can help with the building. One scout still waiting, Jake. It's this scout, and uh, he doesn't really have time to do the ruined warehouse. If I'd thought about it earlier, I probably could have had him do it, but it wasn't a big, uh, wasn't a big necessity. All right, let's warm people up. I can't afford to be impeached here. There we go. Everybody's super happy. Let's celebrate by a knee-slapping sermon and carry on. A black smoke really gets in the way. Let's change our orientation here. If I brought this scout back in, they would instantly die. They're all sick, so it's not worth our time doing that. Sod it, we're all gonna die anyway with this maniac leading us! Americans, please! Calm yourselves! What am I going to do with that extra steam core, though? Um, also, why are my kids not making me food? Because <laughs> they're disposing of corpses or otherwise building. Okay, mechanical calculator get. I would really like to have a much better steam uh, uh, coal mine, so we're getting that. <laughs> what a horrible layout of people. And this is just the first storm! Normally we're just happy, happy, la la in times of, in the time for first storm, but not this time. Heavens no. All right, no impeachment for me. We're carrying on here, although it's very tempting to tell these kids to work 24 hours a day just to squeeze out the most food that we can. It wouldn't work out so well for us because because uh, of reasons. I'll figure out the reasons. I don't like this angle, but it's hard to find a better one here. It's getting a bit, um, a bit low on coal-ish for my people. A bit very low on coal-ish for my people. We face a deficit of 150 a day. Oh dear. Fundamental research. Um, sure. Why not? Replace you though, because I need that researching done. You might think yours is fundamental, but I'll, I'll have a thing or two to say about that. Don't really have work for my other people to do, so they just get to bum about for a while. But when I get those steam cores back, there'll be buildings for them to build. How's the storm runner doing? Oh god, it swallows up all in its path. But these guys, they can make it. This is why I boost scout sleds. You might not think it's worth it, but if I hadn't done it, I would have not gotten those two steam cores. You'll have to be quick about the engineer if you want the extra bonus. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to hold... Oh my god, that's a lot of death incoming. And I'm not making things easier by giving people crummy rations like I am. Well, this amount of food will surely see us through if there are this few people. 
I can cook a load of food once all is said and done. <laughs> I'm just gonna die anyway. Oh man, I had hope once. Yeah, a bunch of kids died. I wonder if any of the initial guys are still hanging on. Okay, I know it won't make you happy, but it's time for some more 24-hour shifting. And that steam coal mining get. That's going to be useful when I have the cores to make it so. Otherwise, I would like better automatons for sure, but what else would I like? More hot housing would be good. More heat would be good. Better heaters would also be good. There's a lot of good things out there. But if I got generator power upgrade, I'd have fewer sick people, because it's about to get cold in all the bunkhouses. Let's have it only chilly, so we have fewer dead. Uncharacteristically nice of me, I know. I'm going to upgrade this coal mine into a steam coal mine. That should solve all my coal issues for the foreseeable future. And I'm going to invest in a wall drill again, because... Well, I don't really need to explain myself, do I? Surely not. I'm low on wood. That's all the justification that I need. Oh, right, you're dead. Couldn't be too bad to have a nice temple, right? Would certainly help with the hope forever. And we'll have it quite close to the center so everybody knows what's what. Let's build it. We will show the unbelievers. I think you need more immigrants there. No, we need some homegrown American muscle. The Golden Yorkshireman is a poor choice of name. Who in chat wants to be our second fleshless giant that will persist where our meat bags fail? Brelix says, put me in as a robot, but you're far too late. We have Avenue Philanthropist. Alright, that's the steam cores that God had ordered for us. I absolutely need a steam coal mine erected, and I absolutely want a wall drill, and that should take care of my resources for a long time. Temple being around keeps hope quite high, which is grand. But uh, coal being quite low is its own problem. I'm actually going to switch this guy out in favour of some actual workers. Uh, well, my actual workers are busy doing actual work. That's unusual. These guys are also building, but I do need this thing built, so it's okay. There we go, that solves my coal problem for a bit at least. And then there's no real need to have this thing heated anymore. I'm just going to turn it off for now. You'd think I would, you know, permanently damage the hothouse by making it so cold. But you'd think lots of things. Okay guys, hunker down. It's pretty cold. I'm actually going to warm up my engineers a bit, because I do care about their lives somewhat. I heck, jings, I haven't toggled heaters all game, have I? Except for the one short period where this cookhouse was a thing. I think we're just going to get rid of it all together. There we go. And once this is built, we get our automaton on it. Avenue Philanthropist. But we have a third automaton, don't we? Don't we? The Red Lowlander. Now we can do something for uh, Brelix there. Working down the mines. Does that remind you of home? Okay, wood is taken care of. Steel is taken care of. Coal is taken care of. For now, with a bit of extra heating, our people will be less susceptible to death, but still fairly susceptible to death. So we need migrants, and we need them now. Oh, 
Shanks Malangs. There we go. That extra bit of heat should help. And we're still in the positive when it comes to coal production. Uh, we're still alright when it comes to resources as well. I'd like automaton integration since they're doing the bulk of the carrying right now. Alright, there we go. Now it's only chilly at home. You know, for those that can afford actual homes. I'm actually going to build up a couple more bunk houses in the center. Good. Not good. Alright, I thought there was a death relating to this. Uh, this will allow automatons to work better, harder, faster, longer. So it's probably good to give them the automaton. I can't afford any cripples though, but by event I'm going to get one, which kind of blows. Also, which automaton did he take? He took the steel one, that's fine. That's the least important one right now, because I'm drowning in steel, relatively speaking. Come on, guys, could you try not dying for a change? I don't care how sick you are, nobody dies in a fortnight. He will need Steam Core. No, he will not. Urgent need for treatment, Captain! Our people have gathered to protest. The number of untreated sick keeps rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. They demand that you take action. I'll open a medical post right away. Don't you worry, guys. I'll take care of you all. Here you go. There's a medical post. Ah, oh, would you look at that? I got some highly qualified doctors that can run the place as well, although people seem to be dying tonight. Let's have them die a little less. There we go. I'm I'm not a monster. I know what this uh I know what this run is about, but let's actually look after our people a bit. And it should be warm enough with uh with that. There we go. Come one, come all. There, people are on their way to... Oh, I'm sorry. You can't afford it. You don't have any money. You're not allowed in here. And, um... I'm afraid due to lack of demand, we're just going to have to shut down this industry. What can I say? The people didn't want it. Such is the nature of our city. I'll go and pray your problems away. You might run out of people, says level 26. Well, we didn't run out of people in the no generator run. We didn't run out of people in the no food run. I think we'll manage. We need immigrants pretty badly, though. We have 49 people. 10 of them are scouts. We have 39. 3 of them are mechanized. So we have 36. Fifteen of them are about to die. We don't have a lot of people. And many that we do have are too busy disposing of corpses to actually work properly. Alright, those uh, fleshless giants have just become even more powerful. What do I have them do? Engineer automatoning is actually quite tempting, but I'd like my people to not be completely dead in the water. Maybe I should focus on the scouts, but uh, yeah, a difference engine would allow me to get additional scouts, which are more people I don't have to feed or take care of in any conceivable way. A 24 hour shift should take swift care of that. I'm not going to take any more of these. I do not like going extreme with my laws. Alright. Like all things, Americans need some piss-weak beer. Ah, <laughs> oh, but quite close to the generator. There we go. Only two in uh, two levels of insulation in the public house. It needs to be warmer in order to actually function. But during the big thaw, it should be all right. I have a few days to build it anyway. He needs a steam core, does he? 
I'm not giving you a steam core. God, no. Doing the steam core gets you very little out of this. They become a fraction cheaper, and they can do... You get one tech for free, and it's usually um, automaton healthcare, and we definitely don't need that. So forget that. I'll take the 5% efficiency on automatons, though. That is pretty priceless. We're a lot of dead people. A lot of unemployed people as well. Could have them work here, but it's not like we're desperate for... Oh, no, I don't want you there. I want you here. It's not like we're desperate for steel and stuff. Don't know whose weak piss you've been drinking, says Mike. Oh, no, it's not off time for these guys. I need to work my 24-hour shift. Stop disposing of corpses, guys. I'm actually super curious why they have so many people disposing of corpses there. Did you find a corpse over there? I think he's stuck. He's going to become a corpse. Oh well, that's fine. We'll have a special prayer for him or something. That'll be nice and warm. Look at that, nice and warm through the night. Like they all deserve to be. The engineers are completely toasty. Hell, they're too hot. Breaking out in a sweat. <laughs> You're curious why people are disposing corpses this level 26. Yeah, well, it's a good bit of camaraderie, but uh, we don't have a lot of alive people left. At all. We have 11 workers, 11 engineers, and 5 kiddos. Difference engine get. Let's get more scouts in time for... Uh... Well, we need to go and find immigrants. That's what it's all about. Nothing else here really speaks to me, uh, except maybe organic fertilizer. I have a lot of bodies for it, that's a given. That is a given. The sick recover faster! <laughs> what a notion. What's a sick? Alright, lovely. It's not the biggest thaw we've ever seen, but it is a thaw. And we're actually going to stop having uh, sawdust food. America has now passed its um, has now passed its food and drugs regulations. And let's have this thing working. I don't have kids to do it for me anymore, but we'll go out and find some more kids. Let's set up this frozen excavation and the small cairn, and then the last one we make, we'll check out that other place. Nice thing about this is I don't waste time with people being too sick to work, because there is no such thing as being too sick to work. There's no such thing as being sick. This is actually pretty bad. It's going to slow down me getting more migrants. Uh, steam core freezing would also be pretty terrible, because that would force me to rely on people. And I don't really have people. We'll build a wall to keep the people from fleeing. We'll build a wall drill to keep them from fleeing. How does that sound? This doesn't need to be heated nicely. These ones are too hot when they're heated. Otherwise, we're looking good. We're looking damn good. No, you're playing Frostpunk and Overwatch League Grand Finals is starting in 15 minutes, says Spyro 1981. Having a tremendous clash of conscience over that one. I can't tell you how to spend your time. Plea of the Faithful! Sir, a priest is here with a group of followers. They're asking you to cut the public house opening hours. They contend that the pleasures it offers poisons the minds and the souls of our people. Prohibition, eh? I'm gonna do it because it's what the pious would do. 
I wonder if they push that further as well. Uh, it's a bit cold there, but it's still. Uh, I can still have this thing work tomorrow when it's a bit warmer. There's time yet. The Puritans have survived. <laughs> well, you need to be pretty gutsy to survive all of this. Eight more will die, taking us to 31, 21. Yeah, there'll be 18 left in the city. And that's assuming more people don't die, and more people will die. We got additional scouts at least, so we can pick off a few of those that are almost dead. That would be. Hang on, what about you? Oh, yeah, you're super sick. You two are about to die, so I'll dismiss you. And these sick are the, these uh, guys are the only ones left. So another uh, another one of you, the one who's going to work. Congratulations, you will be immortal now as our new. Wait, what? Ah, one more needed. Get over to the frozen pond. Find me what I need. Meanwhile. Engineer automatoning is tempting, but they're pretty crummy at it. But not a lot of these will stop people from getting so sick. House and house redesign would actually be pretty good. It's not like I have that many people to house, and it will stop them from dying quite so much. Yeah, you did good. No need to do any more of that. And with all the discontent people dying, we're actually doing pretty good on this. Except my shortage of engineers is getting remarkably dangerous. What's the game's goal? If I can survive minus 120, I'll be pretty happy. The thing is, uh, and some people ask me, oh Jake, why don't you keep going? It's like, well, if I've already proven that we can do it, I don't see the, the thrill in continuing to go. This shortage of engineers is getting very troublesome for the whole uh, researching part. But get back to work, guys. Good lord, I need immigrants. Well, I'm quite fortunate that the wall drill is working as well as it does, but um, if I had gone order, I could use foreman to squeeze so much more out of my automatons. Order would have been a far better solution than faith, but faith is what you, the people, demanded. House redesign will be good for staving off the cold real soon, but it won't help me right now. Boosted scout sleds would help me right now, so we're going to go for that. To which you might say, why did you do houses instead of boosted scout sleds? The answer is because I did not think that through. With this kind of temperature, the bunk houses will be fine for one, two, three, four, five days, in fact. So I actually shouldn't face any additional sickness unless there are people working in bad places, you know, like the hothouse. But the hothouse is fine. Jinx, this is rough. Yeah, at least our people are free to die, right? Can't hold that against me. Um, actually, the house redesign would not be that useful to me, since I have so few people to even house at this point. But for the principle of it, I should get it first. Large pit, uprooted tree, snowy hill, none of those sound like survivors to me. I'll take the high road. No, I'll take the low road. Nothing usually begets something. Stop disposing of bloomin' corpses. Mercy de- Oh god, they have to drag them a long way. These must have been hunters that died on the way back pretty instantly. A man has been crying. I thought my faith died long ago. I'm very happy to hear that, but... You will be dying with your faith soon enough. Damage snowcat. Doesn't that sometimes have people? There are parts scattered around it. I think... Uh, maybe it's Column of Crawlers that has people. Very 
There we go. This organic fertilizer will actually be useful for squeezing out more food. But I'll hold off on that for now, because I barely have enough people to do this. But the best thing about that law is that we can keep a count of our dead bodies. 126 so far, and it's about to become 129. Jolly good job. Let's boost those scout sleds as fast as we can with a cracking 24-hour shift. Ah, rock gate. I need immigrants so badly because the next storm could kill a lot of people. And if I'm down to just kids or something like that, it's game over for my city. Oh yeah, we don't have anybody serving up drinks right now. Can't be having that. There we go. The pub is open, barely. Two and a half hours to drink your cares away. That's a bit rough, but it is what we have. I can, I can disable this for now because the heater inside the hothouse alone will be enough. No healthcare means no amputees. Actually, we could get one amputee. Um, I guess it's worth having amputees if it means we don't have to slow down the automatons. But Jinx, people are way too hot now. I'm actually going to turn down the Jenny. Can't have people getting too hot. These heaters are off as well. But thanks to us not caring about people's health, we were able to super push tech and production so that we could survive this. It's kind of similar to how we treated our people in the cannibals run. Boosted scout sleds will counteract the wind that was slowing them down, and now I can get some proper houses. House plus house redesign will allow me to uh, not worry about heating in the inner rim too much. Damn it, it's just steel. Desolate Valley doesn't sound like it'd have a lot for either for me. But I can try. I need more immigrants. We're doing pretty good on the excess of coal front. To the point where some resource depoting would highly be in demand. That was probably excessive when it comes to my wood. Hold off on some of that. A letter of thanks to Rise Hope. I would really th have thought Hope would be a bigger issue, but we managed to push through a lot of the deaths. The thing is, I made my people so angry that they weren't losing hope due to all the death. Just a suggestion, Jake. You might have an easier time implementing these heartless policies if you refrain from referring to them as people. What, I should call them Elevens? Because that's not a bad idea. People keep dying, but at least new people aren't getting sick. Oh no! The the barman is dead! We need a new barman. Congratulations. Molly Smith? I think not. You are going to be uh, Severian. Thanks to your great idea to not call them people anymore. Snow huts. Oh god, that's pretty bad. I think they're usually sick, and it's mostly kids. But I'm not fussy when it comes to immigrants here. How about some sermons from Pat Robertson to raise that hope? Ah, there's a good idea. I've dug my own frozen grave, says so Serpy. You'll be fine. I think, uh, I'm not sure if the pub worker can ever get sick. Although I'm not sure the pub worker will ever work if all they do is dispose their patrons. Alright, there are 19 people alive in this city. It's as good as we get. Well, let's push them to be a little less alive with a cracking 24-hour shift. Cracked ice, scattered sleds. Now, scattered sleds is pretty good because that's steam core. But uh, it sure is not survivors, and that's what I need. The storm arrives in seven days, which means it's going to appear around the outside in five. I need to be relatively ready for that. House redesign is good. House insulation would be better. 
and then I wouldn't have to worry too much about heating my people overall. Would be expensive on the wood, but um, people would very much survive. Ah, survivors. Oh, but steam lorry has steam cores. Oh, these people sheltered in their snow huts during a snowstorm. When it was over, they found their sleds had become stuck in solid ice. Two men sent have vanished without a trace. Twenty-five kids. I'm afraid you're gonna have to find your own way. I've found something far more lucrative. Don't worry, guys. Just cross all that way. Freedom is right over there. Trust me. Isolated shelter and a yellow flag. The shelter, I don't think that has people in it. But I certainly don't think the yellow flag does either. I don't know, I'm not good at remembering which, uh, which point has what. Ghost on the... Oh god, I hate that so much. Now this will be stuck here forever. House of Healing, sir, some of our workers, motivated by their faith, have volunteered to help with the sick, even the gravely ill. We could build the House of Healing and have them treat people there if you pass the necessary law. Hmm. 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 <laughs> All right, everybody, I promise you, Obamacare. Brothers, can heal my blisters without cutting my hand off. With faith and dedication, we can work miracles. Yes. Excellent. Steam cores is nice. Butchered by beasts. Yes, yeah, so bears, polar bears came around and took this, but I'm looking for people. Okay, I'm certainly looking for steam cores, but people are uh, almost more important. But not quite, but almost. Uh, I forget, did I manage to get my cheaper houses? I did. There we go. We'll get those built tonight. You know, those that can. I think I hear people cheering me because I'm doing such a great job. I don't blame them. If I had an advanced coal mine, I could squeeze so much coal out of one mine, which sounds pretty great to me. These people just aren't... okay, now they are building, just very slowly. Let's turn on the overdrive so people are super toasty tonight. There, they got one house built at least. So we got the steam lorry, two, um, two steam cores for me. We'll get to those survivors all in due time. Actually, if I do this, I should be able to get closer to them. If I don't forget, and I could well just forget. Jake, if you end up with only five people left, can you put them to work in a clinic and then they'll be immortal? Yes, but if the clinic ever gets too cold to function, then they won't be so immortal. Then they'll be kicked out and very mortal. At least this is my understanding. I've never seen someone get sick when they work in a care house. That's not to say it doesn't happen. Alright, this thing is no longer functional in this kind of uh, temperature. But that's not a big deal. I'll just turn it off for now. Have the Wait, someone got sick. Probably because they were working there. Perry Wensley. I know somebody else that begins with P. Pepper! Pepper Ann, no less. You'll be able to watch yourself die slowly and relatively painfully. Oh, steam cores. I will certainly take that. But where the heck are the people? People are what I need. And that, yellow, that yellow flag is miles away. Bleeding miles. I'll check out the cairn, I guess. No, we'll get you back to the United States of America, then maybe check out the uprooted tree at a large pit. Otherwise, you guys are fairly close to the survivors, almost as close as you'll ever be. Pick them up. Uh, 
25 children. There weren't 24 children. Why do you think there were 23 children? Lonely Light. I really don't think that's survivors. I think it's a lot of dead bodies. Oh well, we'll make it through. Does the counter in the top of the screen show the number of bodies in the pile? 129. Good job, Jake. Yes, it does. I could turn them into fertilizer, but I'm avoiding doing that for now. Honor the dead and all that. Stuck automaton. Yeah, if I just shut down the steam steel works, then I can quite happily shift the automaton over here. And once he refuels, he'll get straight back to work, so there's no big loss there. Amputees. Sir, there's been a serious accident. The automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg. I'm afraid sacrifices must be made if we're going to win the Cold War. We cannot afford this. Automatons will remain a threat. So, uh, it's going to be very difficult to kill our amputees. So I might as well name them so we remember them. Who in chat feels that they are useless and contribute nothing to this society? Because this hapless bugger who's missing one of his limbs could be you. 100 gram says that would be me. I like, uh, I like how confident you are in your own uselessness. Let's make sure we have plenty of space for coal. Speaking of coal, we can now mine a whole lot more of it. And I want these automatons to be better at what they are, but could also do with some insulation on my hothouses so that they actually function better. All right, we picked up the kids. How many died? Eh, three of them died. None of the adults died. That must have been rough. Imagine it's a school trip up a hill or something. And it's like, oh, sorry, Billy, Jessica, and Jasmine didn't make it. And the rest of the group just has to, I don't know, ditch them? Bury them? The teachers are all fine. Come to think of it, were there any bodies? All right, it's time to make our engineers feel good about themselves, that they can contribute more to the city with a good old 24-hour shift. Here's the thing, because I decided to feed my engineers, and not engineers, but feed anyone who does the 24-hour shifts, they stop dying, and for five food rations, it is a criminally good steal to get 24-hour shift out of them for it. Check, I think you need a second snow pile. Nope, you can pile one snow pile limitlessly high, is what I would say, but uh, why? there's a bit of a mismatch here. That's kind of strange. I will try building a second snow pit in the unlikely event that you are completely correct. We should probably have it round the back of the um, round the back of the church, right? Makes sense. Makes sense to me at least. Are we done with laws? It feels like we're done with laws. No American could stand for a house of pleasure, and Americans don't even know what moonshine is, so... Nah, we're done on the law front. Goody, goody. Yeah, figures. Nothing at the Lonely Light worth knowing. Might actually be faster if you get to that empty cave, and you... Oh, it's barely any difference. You go there, then. You bring me back those steam cores. Only two children are still alive. We had so many and so many are just dead now, it's crazy. But the hothouses are nice and warm. We can have an even nicer and warmer hothouse. We almost certainly will. Excellent, there we go! Discontent melts away. Hope rises. These people can celebrate by building their own houses. Uh, wait, why would they even be in this tent? Oh, I guess they got nowhere else to be. Oh, they're all sick. They're all hungry. Well! This is why we need tighter immigration control. 
Bad luck. Yeah, no kidding. Remember all that hope that we built up? It's about to go. Well, if we have them, we might as well put them to work. Let's get this bad boy on. Let's get those kids over here. The adults over here. Extended shift to clock, of course. In fact, super extended shift. Those kids need to learn a thing or two about work, so we'll have them work the hot hat. We'll even have them shove some bodies into the snow. Or rather, out the snow and into there. So that they can learn on the job. Squeeze as much labor out of them as possible. That's exactly what's going to happen here. You know what? Screw it. These kids are all going to die. Let's have them die the way they should. Working 24 hours in the steam steel works. Can't believe they wasted the generosity of the USA. Welcoming them in. And then going, by the way, I'm hungry, I'm sick, I need health care and a home and just about everything else you have. Good grief. See, good American scouts bringing back resources. That's what we need. Jake, you promised a house of healing. Correct. I fulfilled my duty to promise them a house of healing. You actually want one physically built? Well, uh, that's for the next administration to suss out. You know, I did the hard work in committing to it. Still have a bunch of people that aren't properly working for me. Go out and get me some food there. Let's also advance up the coal mine and advance up our hothouse. I wonder if I lose the 24-hour shift by doing that. It's kind of contrary against me to do that, but I want to find out how that works. Otherwise, extra insulation for it will be cool, because then I don't have to keep heating it all the time. In fact, I don't need to keep heating it much at all if they get this built and done. Wait, why are they not building it? What's the theme of the run, chat, says Nunder1. Take a good look at the city and think what is missing, what vital thing that keeps my people alive is missing. If you are American you might not even realize what's missing. Oh nice, they're still on their 24 hour shift so I had to build the place and then immediately get to work in it. That is sweet, but it makes me a lot of food. Speaking of, let's have space for said food. McDonald's is missing. These freaking guys. Okay, it's still warm enough for everybody to be super toasty, so I don't need additional heating. These guys, though, are a bit chill where they are, so I'm going to heat them up. This is actually probably not necessary now. This thing has good heat as it is. And these kids are going to die anyway, so there's no point in additionally warming it up. I mean, cold, very cold. Look, th these kids are all sick anyway, so I'll just let them be. Oh, right, it's too cold for the pub. Damn, how can this be? I need to expand the range of the generator and do a bit of remodeling, I think. What is that? What is going on? Ah, there we go. Healing house not built. You signed a law to establish a house of healing, but you didn't build it. People are questioning your ability to lead. Well, that's okay, because I will live and they will not. So they should have bigger and better questions. Child crushed by a machine. There's been an accident. A child worker has been trapped and badly injured inside a machine. We have to stop the entire facility if we want to have a chance of saving that kid. <laughs> Listen, this child is an anchor baby, right? They do not deserve the rights of good, cold-blooded Americans. Continue working.
People are a bit unhappy about what I've done, but they'll understand. Jeff023 says, Jake has my vote. The workforce could be further automated, reducing your overhead and saving resources. This is very true. Uh, once we have the insulation going on the industrial hothouse, we will be pursuing exactly that. Uh, oh, right, we have a couple of steam cores coming in as well. All the more reason. Let's get a factory up and on the go. And then I would actually like to expand the reach of the generator so that we can keep this heated as well. Blue dunes does not sound like survivors, but we'll try our luck. There's still a wee bit until the, the big freeze arrives and the slowdown has stopped now. The thing is, I don't really have the engineers to keep this going. The, um... Oh my, yeah, I forgot people are pretty angry at me. Well, listen, with a bit of faith, everything's possible, so there you go. Should lower the discontent quite nicely. And when people die, their, angers, their anger about bad health care will die with them. Empty snow hut. Just one. I'll try Mountain Watchtower. See? All those dead people melting away that discontent. Uh, eight died. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the kids are now um, going to start their little dying spree. Their very dying spree. Hmm. Well, at least people are already calling a vote of no confidence on me over the discontent issue. The hope issue? Well, that's not my burden to carry. I'm surprised they're not angry about the no food thing. Actually, that's something. People are hungry, so if I actually opened this thing up for business, they'd go and feed, and then discontent wouldn't be such an issue. Really, Jake? You couldn't even last a day without more Frostpunk? I lasted two days. What's the point? The president has doomed us all. What are you talking about? These people are going mad. We're actually capping on, uh, on coal here, which is not the plan. It's quite the opposite of the plan. So I'm going to switch over... One of these does uh, food rations. There you are. Change you out for coal. Not that coal is a big issue, and then make some more depots for exactly that. This is why wall drill is so powerful. You just set it up, keep it running, and you will never run out of wood. Should be where your first automaton goes so you never just have wood problems ever. Hmm, we're going to go into the storm with even worse problems of uh, sick and dying people than before, which is pretty grim. There's no point even keeping this thing running anymore. I don't have the people for it. I do, however, have the chance, the opportunity, if you will, to bring up the efficiency of the... Oh, that's a cold place for people to work in. But... The increased range will allow warmth in the factory. And, uh, oh, well, given how cold it is, let's crank it up a touch. It's not going to be warm enough, actually. I will benefit greatly from the power upgrade. Just so people can be uh, cozy in the storm. Looking at the snow pit, I'm guessing people don't have money for funerals either. Absolutely, that's part of death care cost. Ooh, I'm surprised these guys are still alive. How do they manage it? All the kids died. One of them at least died warm. Oh, there are survivors in Blue Dunes. Holes dug out by people desperate to get away. Digging deep in the hard snow, these people saved themselves from the blizzard. Then they waited for help to arrive. Well, help has arrived. No kids in sight. What's with all the bones?
Uh, you're not in range of the uh, the the shrine, unfortunately, but it's okay. The cogs are oiled. I'd have another one going if I had the steam core here and now, but I do not have it here and now. So I can actually have you work on this, and then you guys get back to research. When we have a couple more steam cores, I'll erect one more automaton. Then I'll dismantle you and have another industrial hothouse. That seems fair. People will not forget! An improvised shrine has been set up where the child worker was killed. People left a few memorial tokens on it. A tin horse, a sweet bun, a small glove. Someone scrawled child killer in big red letters on the machine in which the kid died. Put this place in order. Can't be having this. Did I misread what that option was? It looked like put this place in order. Okay, nothing but supplies out there unless I want to try my luck for empty snow hut. I do want to try my luck. Sweet bun, are they withholding food? This is why we need an inquisition around here. I have so few people to build things, unfortunately. That's getting a bit hard, but we'll make do. Right, the automaton is assembled, and now they will make us food forever. United by faith. Really brought the Puritans together. Oh my. We're going to have a lot of dead people soon. They're going to follow the kids swiftly into the snow pit. Extreme difficulty? Always extreme difficulty. Even when it's not. I know our people are already a bit angry, but uh, surely they could work just a little bit harder. Just a little. Mmm. Okay, calm down, guys. But that will overshadow any hopes, uh, any hope problems with the massacre of the terminally ill hunters. That's funny. I saved the people. They were doing fine out in the frostlands. I brought them here, and they all died. Wait, what? Ah, yes, I brought back more pi They're all sick and hungry as well? Why? Why would the game do such a thing to me? Oh well, might as well squeeze everything out of them that I can. If you insist on dying. There we go. Jake, the game just doesn't want you to run out of fertilizer. It's helping you. It sure is. I'm a little in the black when it comes to... A little in the red when it comes to coal, but I could always create another coal mine and have that autonomized. Since food is barely a problem, that might be... Uh, well, it's not like coal is really a problem at this point either. What do you got out there? Food, wood, and nought else. A body to bury. Shame you couldn't bring it back. I need more fertilizer. Yeah, fertilizer. Not a bad idea. Let's get some more out of this. And let's make our automatons better at making food. Why can't you make the automatons hunt? Uh, I don't think in the 19th century they yet had the technology to make a machine that could capture animals in the wild. Not like the Red Highlander. Speaking of, we need a better name than Red Highlander. Who wants to be our next couple of, autom uh, of automatons? Storm's on its way, as it often is. Goodbye, Hope. Goodbye, Mord. Como insists that it be them. Why Como 1? What a strange name. I've just hung out. Hang on, everyone. The storm's coming. Where do you think you're going to go? Well, that's right. They want to oust me. Hmm. That's a bigger problem. It's a considerably bigger problem.
There we go, the cogs continue to be oiled. And then come the deaths. Oh, that's a problem when hope is a problem. Um, well, we'll just ride it out a bit. Just ride it out. Just ride, ride, ride it. <laughs> okay, stop dying, people. <laughs> Jake, make some actual rations. That's an idea. We'll get some, these people that are technically still alive, make us some rations. I would also benefit from bringing my cookhouse in a bit. I'll just put it back there, actually. But for now, I do want it uh, operational. So there we go, some actual rations that stop people from dying. Fortunately, though, they've eaten all the crummy, ra or most of the crummy rations that kill them. Ugh, one of my good engineers actually got sick. Two of them. Mm, probably just one of them, actually. Forlorn camp and a hilltop base. The camp actually may have survivors in it. However, 19 hours, 15 hours, that's like two days. Yeah, you will not survive that journey. Or will you? How ballsy do we feel? They'll definitely die, says Wolf. Well, death comes and goes, and I have replacements who will die anyway. Let's give them a chance. What else do we want for our people? Advanced steel works is pretty good if steel was an issue. It is not. Um, I would like better depot upgrade, actually. Nah, steel's nice enough. Doesn't cost steam cores either. Let's just have a knee slapping celebration, and then there we go. No impeachment for me. I keep my people alive. Looking at this, actually, I keep my people very alive. Hmm. Oh, they're still going. They're still going. And they're 22 hours away from home. With six hours to go, they're never going to make that. The big freeze hits in like four hours. Plus 24, of course. Oh, yeah, there we go. This froze over. Well, get out of there. Get out of there while you can. I didn't make you immortal for nothing. Dang. Still alive, Leah Holton. It's not impossible that some of our initial engineers survived, because they had one of the nicest jobs around. The workshop had base 2 heating from the start and was put in the inner circle. Kinda wish I'd taken note of the people's names earlier. But I did not. Let's get rid of this piece of junk, it's kinda, kinda making the city look bad. And I think I said I would disassemble this in order to get the steam core, which could be invested in pretty much anything. We're looking in the black on most items. I'll keep this place warmer so people get less sick in it. Yeah. And let's have more people in here to get more fertilizer. Mmm some good raw food. We'll need more space for it and more space for our delicious rations. And more 24-hour shifting, of course. Yeah, 
get back to work. I like it when you still keep the pragmatic voice. I wonder, do I have time to investigate that buried dreadnought? Because I'm sick of it just being there. It's 12 hours there and far less than 12 hours back, so I'll give it a go. Far fewer, rather. Steelworks get, so what's up next? I want more space in my depots, and I should, of course, replace said steelworks. Working day and night. Why do we need so many emergency shifts? Our situation requires hard work from everyone, but do we really have to rely on heroic efforts so often? Yes, yes we do. Agreeing to that would stop this 24-hour shift that I haven't actually seen any return on. So I would, and you don't undo the discontent you, that you get from doing it, so it's a waste of time to agree to that. A complete waste. Uh-oh. Remember when hope stopped being an issue? It's about to remain being a big issue very soon. Well, goodbye, my revenge engineers. Could sure do with some healthy people arriving in my city. Everybody I've found, except for the initial bunch on the on the uh, the stone area, have all been a bunch of bloody losers. Oh my! They actually made it. Get me that piece of garbage and get back as quickly as you can with it. Mm. They are chasing that storm. Chasing away from it, rather. Jake walks past the overflowing snow pit, ignoring the dying hunters, clinging to the generator. This tent is making our city look bad. And it really was. Alright, let's get some more space in our depots. Amazing tenacity on Leah Holton. She is clinging on to life. Oh, right, all the cooks are dead now. And I can't take back our scouts. They were all dead as well. Dead or dying. Alright, we made it just in time. To find a relic of our past. Very fascinating if I did want to build an archives. Which I don't really, it's a fat waste of resources. But it might be nice in making the city look good, so I'll just put it right there. It's not like we're going to have a high, uh, high population. Jake, how's the pub lady doing? Severian's doing just fine. Not operating the pub, of course, they're disposing of corpses. Imagine that, your full-time job is two and a half hours per day and you get to spend it pouring drinks for people who practically worship you. Truly, I've made heaven on earth. He says as uh, 100 gram the, uh, the man with three limbs decided to pack it in. Don't worry, the state will ensure that the assets you had are liquidated and used appropriately. How else are we going to do things? Some nicer heaters would be good. <laughs> I did nothing. I died for nothing, said 100 gram. Well, that's fine. Freedom to die is the truest freedom there is. So again, I'm going to snag a couple of you over here and make you do the 24-hour shh. It's okay. Why are people so mad anyway? Probably all the emergency shifts and the ignore requests and the unpopular decisions and the overtime work and the complete absence of health care. But why are they so mad at me? I'm actually going to have a, uh, an automaton be free form right now. He can help out with building the archives, if nothing else. 
And there we go, Matilda Gibbs buys it as well. We're gonna have a big flood of all the all the workers dying. All of these ones actually. Who's the other sick one? It's not the kid, the one child of the entire city, Andrew Greenway. Which means this was one of the kids we had from the very start. We didn't pick up other kids. Circle of stones, maybe a few. Whatever, let's ignore that. Andrew Greenway has seen 170, 181 of their friends die over the past 26 days. Who in chat is a real American patriot who can see through thick and thin? He is the one percent, says Eka. He's truly, uh, truly a marvel guy. Only 15 people left alive in the future. A good name for it. The Great Marino says USA I'm. There you go. The rest shall die, but he shall survive. Well, at least all the angry people are dying. There we go. Impeachment? What impeachment? All of my foes decided to kick the bucket. Uh, I can have some better overdriving. Um, not a lot of people left in my city, actually. Archives are complete. It's a start. The Archives building would make any city proud. Makes my city proud with one thing there. I also have an automaton without much to do. I'll still have you stuck on this building because you can work on it uh, later on. So nobody's sick, but we have one worker, eight engineers, and one child, and that is it for people alive in our city. Our, our archives are mostly death counts. Now, depending on which snow pit you go and view, we don't have that many bodies. I suppose one should be uh, fundamentally terrified of any city that has multiple uh, pits of dead. Generator bypass for maximum everything. Alright, but people are doing just fine. Hell, even the pub is going to be working just fine. I don't even feel that we're in the storm, but we are. I'm going to need another level of heating on the pub. No, it'll work just fine. The heater isn't even on right now. The cookhouse, however, 600 rations is plenty for about 9 people, but it's good to have a renewable source of food going on. Long hours of... <laughs> Actually, do I really need to? The answer is yes, I will not address this. I will, however, pray for your immortal soul. We stopped wasting paper on necrology a long time ago. We make one more notch on the closest automaton's leg. Speaking of, who feels like they want to survive all of this whilst laughing? The Superior Midlander is great, but we need an even better name for them. Dang, only 30? Guess you wouldn't need to spend money on healthcare. Uh, no, not 30. Five of them are automatons and 15 of them are scouts. So, it's 10 people. One child, eight engineers, totally not a class issue, and one worker. Sonda says, I volunteer for robotification. So you shall not be the superior Midlander, you shall be the superior Sonda. That's actually a zero. That's a zero, that's an O. Cool. What a lovely city. Oh, and people can go and have their two and a half hours at the pub. Bit sad that nobody's really visiting there. Richard Lind, they've used it recently. They're an engineer, they definitely need it. Speaking of, 
I'm amazed I don't work my engineers to death, but not for lack of trying. Can't imagine there'd be much to drink, but we have a functional hothouse, so there'll be definitely stuff that we can turn into uh, alcohol. We've got every bit of heating that we could need, especially for people's uh, homes and that, and that's the most important thing. So outside of that, there's not a whole lot that we need to keep researching. Well, advanced heaters would, uh, would ensure that we're pretty immune to cold problems. But god, I need some immigrants here. There's just nobody left. Okay, windblown forest, round rock, stone obelisk, find me some immigrants, please. Steam core seizing is about the worst thing I could have gotten right now. However, it's not like we're really hurting for resources. The downside will be if coal hurts a lot. Coal hurts a lot. That's a thousand deficit a day for six days. We won't manage on that. Fortunately, though, it's roasting hot around here, so I could afford to knock two notches off of this, and then the deficit won't be quite so bad. I could have people working here if I had people to work, which I do not. I have one child. Why am I not getting... Oh, right, of course I'm not going to get much wood. The... The rate at which we get food has now been uh, reduced to diddly squat, but I could make it a little better. What's our one worker doing anyway? Why, that's, uh, that's Severian work in the pub. They've actually got a pretty swell life, to be honest. But please, we need to find immigrants. No immigrants here, boss. Oh, and they have to not be sick. If they're sick, they all just die and cause me more problems. Ugh, that's a whole lot of not people. But thankfully, our scouts are so boosted, they can do everything out there pretty quickly. I'm not generating food at a rate that impresses anybody right now, so I'm going to turn off actually all of these automatons, and I will rather naively prepare myself houses for people that will surely still be alive to enjoy my city. Let's just link it all up. There we go. And these automatons can get building these places because heavens knows my people are busy trying to not die. Somebody just catches a sneeze and then that's the end of them. the full-on Madagascar approach here. Okay, it's getting even warmer, so I'm going to drop the, the coal consumption a bit more. I mean, look at this. Everybody's melting anyway. Anyway. Frozen lake. Just getting a fat load of nothing out here. There we go. Automatons are pretty good at what they do, which is everything. Long hours of... Yeah, I mean, really. What justification is there in having people uh, work overtime anyway? The answer is production. We cannot be outdone in the Cold War. Get back to work! Cave of Lights. Cave of Lights is very good. Very, very good. But Low Hill could hide some steam cores. Let's check it out. It's all integrated. I don't need my engine, uh, my automatons working on this. I don't need to streamline them. What is a prosthetic? Um, none of this is that useful. Well, it's a bit useful, but... Let's optimize our coal mining because it's kind of suffering right now.
Overturned sled and huge crate. Huge crate is steam core. That's pretty good. Overturned sled is death. And automatons working inefficiently is still better than automatons not working at all. So get to it. And since it's the evening, it's time for Severian to dispose of a corpse, apparently. I guess that's why there are no patrons. There's st there must be so many corpses just lying around. Engineer automatons for having automatons make no more automatons. Nah. Five automatons is plenty for this. I don't like having cities that are absolutely full of automatons because I think it looks a bit uh, distasteful. Oh, speaking of distasteful, it's another bloomin' uh, buried dreadnought. Yes, I know, it's a Hulk sighted. Engineer automatons just snowball like mad though. You get that and then you never worry about research rate again. Let's try the icy boat. It's probably an old wreck, no sign of life. Tell you what is a wreck, my uh, my wood. It's all gone. Barely have any to do any more researching. I could erect a sawmill, uh, but I would need people to work it. So I'll just hold out for, for later. You know, I never make advanced wall drills. Let's work our way down towards that. Plus it costs steel. That's the stuff. Three steam cores from a massive loot box. Let's check out the sled as well. Making so little wood it hurts. One per hour. If you get new engies, could I be one? Well, I'm sure we'll find more engies. You could be one of our existing ones, though. Mercy Dimmock. That's not a good name. Let's have a better one. J-F-J-D-E-V-I-N-C. I take it back, you have an awful name. But there you go. You work endless hours in the, uh... Ugh. Sure. I mean, I don't have to... I don't have to force you to work. I don't even have the resources to keep you working. Cave of Lights! Armed men move to block the entrance. This is our cave, says one of them, looking at us with apprehension. Their mistrust vanishes completely when you tell them about our city. Get your ass to my city. I need 30 engineers. Welcome to my city of totally not death. Looks like a city of the dead. Look, I, there's dead bodies just sprawled out in the ground there. Oh, jings, that can't be good. Right under the generator as well, that must be nasty. Making an awful smell. Well, let's raise the roofs. Kill that discontent, raise that hope. Words of our spiritual leaders will restore hope. What spiritual leaders? Is the automaton in the temple giving a speech? Alright, 12 hours or so. We'll get those, uh, those sods back here and I hope they're not sick. The sailboat was adapted to move a rice on skates. Must have been insanely fast. Judging by the damage it suffered in the crash, can only dismantle it for materials. It's a real pity, but that's a lot of steel. Sadly, it's not a lot of survivors. Ugh, buried dreadnought. Get away. I'll head over for the lying rock. It might have something. And given the coal deficit that I'm still choking on right now, it would probably be beneficial for me to erect a steam coal mine right now and set my automaton on it. One of the steel ones at that, because steel is not a problem right now. Actually, I'll have one of you still there, but this gets built. Right, it's getting a bit chilly. I need to knock that uh, heat level up a couple. Just so people don't get too cold, but now the deficit is pretty huge. Stay warm, everyone. Nice, even advanced wall drill only costs steel. It's not that great though, right? The, the reason I love wall drill is because level 1 wall drill is just perfect. 120 wood per standard workday. 
That translates to hundreds of wood if you're sticking a tomaton on it, and that'll last you forever. If you upgrade it to be twice as expensive in terms of steam core and a massive amount of steel, you only get 30 more wood per standard workday. So what's that? It's like a 20-ish percent buff? Not good enough. Compare that to, say, Steelworks that goes from 30 to 52 steel. You can see why I don't care for steam wall drill. Advanced wall drill is 240, so it's twice as good as this, but for three times the steam core cost and a huge amount of steel. So that's why in all of my runs I just stick to the standard wall drill because as long as you set it up early it'll give you all the wood you could ever need. But hey, I feel decadent so let's upgrade it. It's not like we haven't found a ton of steam cores out there. Uh oh, I saw that. I saw that. Why are they all sick? Why are they all hungry? Every single one of them. 63, 63. I have never had so many sick and hungry people in the Frostlands. Maybe it's actually... No, surely, surely it would not look to the healthcare of your city. That would make no sense. Well, come one, come all, you're gonna die. Well, if you're gonna die, at least make those kids uh, create some rations for us. And since we're not making a lot of wood, let's have the workers create some there. And send the engineers down the mines. Oh, but it's freezing cold. You know what? I don't give two hoots how cold it is. Get your asses down there. Useless bloomin' parasites. Get over Lying Rock. I'm closer anyway. Uh, unless you want to check out the Ice Obelisk. It's faster to get back to the USA first and then check it out. Which is better with coal efficiency techs? What is better with coal efficiency tax? I don't really understand the question at all. If you mean these, coal thumping is what you do when you have a lot of labor. Coal mining is what you do when you have a lot of automaton or low labor or lots of steam cores. I mean, coal thumping, look, one coal thumper does 448 coal in a day. A coal mine does 180. Of course the coal thumper is better, but the coal thumper also needs two gathering posts and takes a lot more space. So uh, in terms of coal per worker, it's actually not that great. And it only has one upgrade, which has two level 2 heating. This has level 3 heating. I vastly prefer coal mining, but if the, if the steam cores are at a premium, thumping is just fine. Especially if you have child labor, they can pick up the coal. All right, these places are seizing up as well. It doesn't really matter if I send uh, people or not into it. All right, you got your job back, big guy. Dark young. No, no. If they're going to die, I'm going to make them die in a horrible way. I meant using less coal in the heating tap. Okay, then the absolute way to win is to get the uh, steam hub efficiency because it shaves one third off of the coal that the steam hubs use. And then if you heat the majority of the land with steam hubs, that's the most efficient way. Unless you're meaning something else, which is also possible, but I'm keeping steam level three because it keeps my homes comfortable. Comfortable home prevents getting ill, and I really can't afford to have any of the ten not-sick people in my city to get ill. Alright, welcome back. What can you do for me? The answer is check out that ice obelisk. All oh, right, the stone arch. Upright sled is a cache. I'm taking it. Do 
Jake's sad they can get well if they're roasting hot. Oh, they can't get well if they're roasting hot. I'm probably making them sweat, which is not good for any disease, as far as I'm aware. And I mean, I played um, crumbs, what's it called? Plague Ink, that's it. All right, it's getting even colder, so let's jam it up. There's a bit of a problem. When it hits minus 100, I can't really get these places any warmer than this. They're going to fall to chilly. Now, I can use my overdrive ability to bring it back up to comfortable, but that's a temporary measure, and it can't last forever. How long do you predict until the sawdust kills everyone if you don't get healthy migrants? Thankfully, we turned away from sawdust. It's one of the things that you could switch back to, standard meals. So all this standard mealing is doing people pretty good, frankly. Severe frostbite. Somebody had to have an amputation. Oh no, we really must do some get back to work. We got our super duper wall drill, and since we're really short on wood, I would like that upgraded, please. And I fulfilled a promise. You gave people time to rest, maintaining working normal uh, normal working hours. People feel ready to work hard again. I'll put that to the test. Um, coal is not really going to be a problem. I could spend these steam cores. Um, well, I already invested in that, didn't I? I wouldn't mind another hothouse, but, I mean, it's not like food is an issue. Alright, there you go. We have other steam cores. Efficiency matters not. Range matters not. We have everything we need here. Coal mining rationalization could be useful down the line, so I'll take it. And there we go three steam cores. What an excellent haul for steam cores this has been. Not so much for survivors. They've all sucked. Work longer. It's good for you. Fifteen tons of automaton can amputate anything, anywhere, anytime, says GPIC. This is true, because I didn't slow down the automatons, they are a risk for my city forever. Empty campsite, buried dreadnought. I don't think there's going to be anybody that empties a campsite, but we'll check it out. Just please, some healthy survivors. I'd be so long dead if I didn't find that circle of stones. Jake, keep raising hope in, uh, in thingamajigger for the big hit. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a big hit. That big hit is called 63 deaths right around the corner. And people get very unhopeful when I sling them face first into the snow pit. Which, spoilers, is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, we could make things a bit better for ourselves if I had more people in range of the churches. So I will build another shirka over here. Here they come. Oh my days. Oh <laughs> no. Well, that's not the end of it. Calm down everyone. We'll be okay. <laughs> We're getting by, but what future do we have? Well, we have a good future. Those suckers out there, not so much. Oh, good grief. Column of crawlers. There might be survivors there. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I learned that only the sick are discontent. Well, they were the one complaining about bad health care. Now they have to complain about no health care. Oh, that was rough. But at least it's pretty toasty for my people. For now. Uh, the steam core freezing is still an issue. I face a massive deficit every day. Oh, thank God, because I had, I had that uh, promise there. Hope was able to rise again. Well, ain't that sweet. 
We don't need so much uh, food or any of that, but I desperately need wood, and let's keep the coal flowing. Oh, and I still have one left over. We'll keep you on that then. Wrecked steamer. Supply train. Movement. That means people. It's a bit of a long haul. And I have to choose between steam cores and people here. But I will choose people because we need immigrants. Alright, you should be able to get there and get them back in time. Ah, more cores. A core is a core. Of course, of course. So there you go. I don't want a back seat, but a storm is coming. Doesn't the storm kill all the scouts in the open? Uh, if they're not at your city, yes, they will kill them. However, I'm pretty good at timing my scouts. They don't often die out there. There's a little bit of time before the storm arrives, so I'm going to squeeze everything out of my scouts that I can, especially since I've spotted two places where there might be survivors. And since I boosted them... No, Jake, we need healthy immigrants. Uh, this is true. At this point, uh, I think my people are just getting insanely lonely. Ah, oh, that's not people. That's coal and steel with which I could build large fleshless people. Column of crawlers, I'm relying on you. Got to hold on. People are depending on me. And depending on you to work a 24 hour shift, actually. Remember when I had hope? Goodbye. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Jesus Cribbins. Also, we're running out of coal. Thankfully, the hazard is over, so with two particularly punchy advanced mines, we should be able to make plenty off of it. 95 efficiency on automatons is amazing. Good. And with all this coal mining, we'll make absurd amounts of, uh, of coal with that. And just look at that, the wood shoots right up, thanks to the power of the advanced wall drill. And it looks like our scouts get there just in time. I mean, that that uh, wall of death is right next to them. But, we've got survivors. Now we can see why the supply train stopped. The crawler, has been, the crawler pulling the sleds has been gutted by fire and turned into a snow-covered hulk. When we approached the sleds, people started coming out. They say that they became stuck when the crawler, pushed a bit too hard, burst into flames. That's a lot of kids, but come on, you better not be sick. And with that, everybody will get back in time. One day, four hours. There's plenty of time before the storm. Is it praying time again? No, I'm still eating cooldown on them. Fortunately, hope passively rises because we have... Um, we have shrines and we have houses of prayer, and the temple, of course. When we did the lawless run, we didn't have all these things passively pushing up hope. To a certain degree, it only pushes up uh, by a certain amount, the rest you have to take actions for. Still though, it's a big difference between... One single law would let me clear the lawless run, and that would be either the churches or the watchtowers, but without that, I can't make it. Or rather, I can't figure out how to make it. We've cut out a lot of um, tech that we decided was useless, and that helps out in a big way. Ah, welcome, Archon. Thanks, as ever, for the support around here, even if I don't understand. I always remember you because I uh, think of you as the Draken character, which is probably not a reputation anybody wants. Can move on, chaps. There's plenty of work to do. Mm -mm. It is guy chilly, but we'll make it through. The great Marinho has managed to survive this whole time playing a low profile over in the mess hall. 
But they're very popular because they serve food that doesn't have sawdust in it. This will be minus 100. It goes minus 70, minus 80, minus 100, then minus 100 slash 120. And that's as cold as it goes. And the period between each storm shortens until you hit 120. Below, that is. Uh, none of this is really that useful for me anymore. We have all the techs that we need. We're not doing any gathering anyway. But it wouldn't hurt to have... More efficiency on the Jenny, so I can get back all the coal that I lost in that deficit. Minus 120 is going to be a big... No! No, 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 no! Why? Just why? What I was trying to say was... Minus 100 and minus 120 will be bad because we cannot maintain everybody being alive during that because the houses will fall below comfortable, especially in minus 120, at which point we will get sick people. And we only have 10 people that are not sick. If those 10 people fall sick and die, the city dies with them. Jake, you may as well go for efficiency. After the first storm, it's scripted to have every survivor sick and hungry. That can't be right. I've had plenty of survivors come in who are neither sick nor hungry. Although, it's not impossible that I'm wrong. It's just highly unlikely. So look at this, it's chilly, which means I will have additional sick people now. Might as well squeeze everything out of the overdrive I can. But that overdrive, even with the bypass, won't last forever. I see more corpse carrying in the future, says Severian. I'm quite certain there are plenty. Look, this corpse is still here. They're all crowding around this other corpse. Luther, Bernard, Victor, Edith. They know that this is their future. They arrived here and go, where's the sick house? And I go, what? <laughs> what the hell's a sick house? It's, uh, it's nay good. Nay good for my people. If only some of these immigrants actually had some money on them. It's an aesthetic thing. I'm going to delete this uh, road here because I like it when these things connect together like that. Looks awesome. Right, this guy can't even work and I'm full of wood. Not that I have any use for said wood, so I'll just turn you off for now and have you work this back when it can be worked. We're getting an increasing amount of boomers needing 24-7 care whilst they produce nothing, says Dennis Wolf. Touché. Alright, well, resource production isn't something that we need anymore, apart from food, I suppose. And coal is always needed, because we're always burning that. I'm a bit worried. We won't have any additional sick today, but tomorrow is a different store. No, I have an idea how we can clear this. Oh no. I have an idea how we can clear this. Uh, hang on guys, we'll be okay. Oh uh, well, the sick issue's cleared itself up. But uh, I need to pull through this and find some survivors without people getting additionally sick. Turn off the overdrive. The, g the generator stress level is at critical level. You need to turn off the overdrive now. I like how it stresses that fact. It's gonna pop. It's really gonna pop. So, um... The Great Marinho. Just how warm do you really want to be? 
If you answered, I want to be the warmest little boy in the whole city. Hang on. The warmest little boy in the whole city. Well, you're very lucky. You need to go and fix the generator. Now. <laughs> ah, well, you've saved everybody else, so you're a real hero. But now we only have nine healthy people in the entire city. Oh god, can we can we squeeze this one out? Just clutch it out until four o'clock, then we don't get any sick. Are all the scouts sick as well? I think there are two of them that aren't sick. So we got that as a backup. There we go, it's four o'clock. Let's turn it off. Ah. Couldn't he have used a steam corp? I mean, if I wanted to sacrifice GDP, I could have done that, but uh Business first, right? Job for every man, an apple pie on every plate. You know how it is. We've got what we need to live, but nothing to live for. No, 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 that was great Marinho. And they had plenty to live for. We'll have uh, Avenue Philanthropist masquerade as the great Marinho. Okay, please. There must be some survivors out there who are not sick and hungry. Okay, frozen ground we're immune to because we don't have thumpers or gathering posts. Uh, Alright, let's try and raise the hope. Gonna invest in this along the way. The generator is super efficient. We don't really use steam hubs. We could expand the range, but there's no use in doing that. There's no use in many of these things either. This is all useless. No, the last thing I ever want to do then is to get this efficiency boost and then we're done. And these guys can actually retire from their workshop days. I think I worked them to the bone, so they done good. Actually, I'll make them do one other thing after this, and that's to get me... Uh, I'll tell you to do a 24-hour shift for this. I'll have them make me a, a large uh, supply depot. On the plus side, that child got a free cremation, unlike nearly 300 bums that just got dumped like trash. Actually, we pull them out of the generator and sling them in the snow pit. The body pile did actually increase, if I'm not mistaken. And I could be, but I don't think I am. All right, please, immigrants, somewhere. I need them now more than ever. Rock Spire. I mean, there's just a fat load of nothing out here. Once you pass two of them, you're just really searching for anything. Maybe this is how I find out that, yeah, all survivors you find after the first storm are just sick. That would suck so much. Alright, these engineers don't have to work anymore. Did I just lose hope? Ah, because they're no longer working near a shrine. I lose hope from that. So there's actually quite a lot to be gained from having them work there. Where are my other workers? Uh, well, there's you. You don't work near a shrine, but I could fix that. I don't think the shrine... Okay, the shrine has no effect on you, of course. But I insist. Yeah, there's nothing much else for you guys to do, but... Uh, we can just have you sit around there. The last of our people that can even know employment...
take you off of this. I'll get you on the wood. And I think I'll take... Uh, nah, I will want that wood down the line. Because the final thing I'll do is actually have some large resource thingamajiggers. Oh. I mean, it'd be nice to grow the city for people, but if there are no people, what would the growth even be for? Buried Hamlet, that's people. People before pennies. Uh, and these things are never going to get built. Uh, Alright, fair enough. I'll have these engineers actually go out and build stuff for me then. Jake, just research heating or something. But, but we have all the heating. Every last bit of heating. Except for range, but range is useless. I have loads of free homes for people even, right? Houses for 126, and we only house uh, nine. Oh, buried dreadnought. Check out the lone boulder instead. Yes, yes, another Hulk. Oh no! I have the dueling law. They're gonna kill each other. Hmm. I mean, it was a good call at the time, but. between the automatons crushing people's limbs and the uh, minus 120 and the dueling law these people can't survive forever fortunately though we produce so much coal that we don't need to worry about that forever worried hamlet there are mostly children here they are hungry uh -huh. they have insufficient clothing uh -huh. come with me if you want to live for slightly longer Column of crawlers again. I'll check the damage snowcat first. Killed the kid who wouldn't duel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if kids can duel. Du -du 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 duel. Rock gate. That's not survivors. Can have one large resource depot for everything. I knew it! There we go! Actual people who are not sick and not starving. Welcome to my city. Whew! Oh, by the way, get to work. Ah, there we go. The city can survive after all. Bags of resources, but I'm interested in those crawlers. And more survivors. Right, I get an actual city now. Which means it's probably worth my time researching how to expand it. Jake, could it be timed from after the storm since da 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 da? No, I think I just got bad rolls. Quite certain I just got bad rolls. That's what I'll choose to believe at least. Let's get some of that sweet hope while we're at it. I think these people that joined really gave me some uh, some hope as well. Sorry about all the corpses in the street. Your first job is to throw them on the pile over there. Ain't it just right? Generator upgrade, and we'll slaughter it even more. Didn't leave myself with a good amount of sp um, space around the side, but 
An okay amount is fine. Circle of Stones is amazing because it has a high number of uh, engineers and a low number of kids. Alright, what a relief. We're going to finish off the storm and I think that's hook, line and sinker for this run. It's nice having a bit of labour that can actually build for me as well. Jake, scouts in waiting. No, one bunch of scouts, and they're here, which is exactly where I want them. These guys are a different story. Oh, I thought Colin Crawler had steam cores. No, I thought it had people. Um, no bodies. Well, fair enough. I already got one batch of survivors. Has Redacted been revealed yet by Jake? Redacted? I have lots of Redacted. There we go. Even with all this heating going on, we don't hurt much for... Uh, for anything, really. Ah. Uh. We'll see about these ones though, they could well be sick and cause me hope problems. You'll see it here first. They're just fine. Okay, well with mass immigration, the USA has become a real powerhouse of an economy. Excellent. Is there a no steam hub run any interest to you? I've already done a no steam hub run. It was called the no generator run. A lot of people died, but the city survived. All right, we'll power through the uh, the double dip of everything and see how many people die. Because this is as cold as it gets now. That's some great depression level of unemployment. That's fine. Alright, our people have worked hard. They deserve a bit of a break. All good Americans do. And this is where it gets bad, because it's now chilly, which means people can get sick. So I would estimate... I'm going to eat like 20 sick people tonight, unless we push it to the limit. And we'll be pushing it to the limit. Oh man, we massacred every child, so... All the children that we have here never knew in America before the Great Immigration Wave. Nobody lives in the freezing cold houses, but it looks bad to have ones that are, so let's at least keep them heated a bit. Love how the, the cold comes and go, the snow comes and goes. So, I think we'll hit the overdrive now and keep it there until the very end. I'm still going to get some sick, though, I'm certain of it, because they live their day in a chilly home. But we'll see just how many. Three, four, I would expect about 20. But I'm not getting it. Nine, ten, phew, I'm way off. Hopefully none of those are people that we care about, right? The original survivors, like Jif Dunavich. Yeah, they're all good. They also don't know what happened to the last child there ever was. Well, yeah, they might go, where are all the children? <laughs> where could they be? Why is there one very black child in the snow pit? Well... Well, well, well. It's 
C-Space says, legal disclaimer, we didn't slaughter the children. Jake did. Now, come on. Children implies that I slaughtered multiple youths, okay? I only dictated the loss of life of one of them. And it was to save the many. Can I... Probably gonna wish I had another chance to sacrifice a kid for the city, because it's getting a bit toasty here. It's getting a bit very toasty in here. 94, 95, 96, come on, 4 o'clock. You stop getting the waves of sick at 4 o'clock unless you have um, uh, sawdust rations. Then the sickness can continue to strike whenever, whenever people get their food. And sometimes I'm just the king of timing. Off you go. 26 got sick. Oh, Richard Lind, you couldn't make it. But uh, Jiftvich managed to stay alive, so top job to you. What about the child in the steelworks? Um, come to think of it, his mangled remains are still in there. And it says child killer on the side of it. Is the bar lady still alive? Severian, you're still going strong. Not even sick. It's going to move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. We survived another night. That has to count for something. Indeed, we did survive. There we go. Temperature goes right the way up to minus 80. And I got to say, that was pretty good. Uh, Frostpunk USA. We're going to call it there because once you once you clear one minus 120 storm, you've cleared them all. The game only gets easier because you'll have more resources, more tech done, da da da. But we've already researched everything. We have fully automated supply of all goods. And we got it all done with zero health care. And that's pretty impressive, especially since we went faith, which is the purpose law you take to get early good health care. Very nice. So, summary of the city. Loads of places cashing up resources for whoever arrives. An early jump on steelworks allowed us to fuel the economy with automatons, and that's remained that way ever since. It's great because steelworks feed into themselves. You build the steelworks to build the automatons to run the steelworks to build more automatons. I'm a huge fan of early steelworks. Not as huge a fan as I am of early wood, though. Because the wood enables the steelworks that enables everything else. We get um, delicious homegrown food that accompanies the stockpiles of rabbits and whatever else that we found in the hunter huts. The archives houses the, the notches of all the dead we have. Speaking of all the dead, they rest up in the snow pit behind the temple. We keep these ones modestly fleshed out so people think, oh, they lost a fair few souls here. Hopefully they don't look over at the other snow pit that shows the hundreds that died along the way. Otherwise, all the coal comes out of our mines, which have already frozen up and still kept us alive. And the inner ring was mostly all we needed for the long haul. And it's full of highly insulated houses. And I think the first run I've ever done where I put the workshops on the inner ring, and that was purely because I normally use this space for the health huts or medical posts, and I didn't have to. So great run, but I think it's time to say good fight and good night to this city. We're going to have it pop, but I don't want our uh, our glorious fleshless giants to see this. So Superior Sonda, Dark Young, Brelix Avenue Philanthropist, and Comma One. Time for you to get away. He just unpacks himself and says goodbye. It's an awesome little, uh, awesome little movement there. Hey, you know what? We always blow up the city. Let's not do that this time. Let's just have it freeze to death. Since it's a no healthcare run, let's actually just kill everybody instead of blowing up the city, because blowing up the city is what I always do. And I'm sure you want to see something other than that. 
Uh, we'll leave the city actually fully uh, fully functional. No need to break everything down. Uh, I think we'll keep the pub going though. Oh well, the pub's not really going to go that much without any heating. Oh well. And we'll get our scouts back in to see the fun. Urgent need for treatment! Our people have gathered to protest. The untreated sick keep rising, but you keep ignoring the problem. We demand that you take action. Uh, discontent's actually going to be a problem, so I will open a house of healing straight away. Don't you worry, guys. Any moment now, I'll get on that. Discontent's actually going to be a big problem due to, well, bad healthcare and lack of shelter. But the right to duel should keep it down. In fact, this is the one time that I will try my best to keep it down. Moonshine will help out with that. I hope people enjoy their liquor in moderation. I've missed a good tipple. No purpose, no direction, a new leader is needed. I'm afraid the clog the pipes are too clogged, guys. There's no warmth to be had. Shumpf. Everyone will be covered by our new medical service. In snow, of course. That's funny. Covered in snow. People are desperate. Why would they be so de oh probably all the deaths? Oh, because people don't live in the range of houses of prayer now. I see. Oh, this will be good. When night passes, lots of people will die because they don't have a home and the, the generator is off. I don't often see this event, so this will be fun. I will, however... Oh man, I didn't get he uh, heating insulation. One, two, three, four, five. You should be good, actually. There we go. Yeah, it'll be fine. People froze to death. Some of our people didn't wake up today. They simply froze to death while sleeping outside in the bitter cold with the generator turned off. We mustn't let this happen again. I suppose. Hooray! We have health care. Ha <laughs> ha, no you don't. That said, though, I need people to trust me. I can actually do that by opening up houses here that are around the the influence of the church. There we go. Hope restored. By the way, no hope. Hope restored, no hope restored. I'm afraid they just didn't have sufficient health coverage. They couldn't enter my house of healing. I don't make the rules. But they have to follow them. How are you getting on there? Oh, Severian, you've gotten sick. There's no future for you, I'm afraid. Urgent need. Okay, alright. I will build you a house of healing. I can't believe some people are so picky. Well, you will build you a house of healing. Jake wasn't happy with a measly 280 death count. Might as well push it to the limit, right? Oh, dear. 11 froze to death. Oh, so it doesn't give you uh, an event. Oh, that means some people aren't sick. Who isn't sick? Julia Hardy, living up to her name, is not sick. Neither is Harry Quinton. We need proper names from chat for these two Hardy buggers. Who in chat considers themselves the hardiest around? Cannibalization run, for instance. I think we had five, uh, 600. Adam and Eve, says Mort. No, I want you guys here, so we can appreciate your fate. I'm a survivor, says Dennis Wolf, even if I have to betray my teammates for it. This is true. 
So, Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf, you're such a bastard. I will never forget your betrayal. You ended my run. And then we have Five Gi. Who decided to volunteer, but uh, ruthlessly got shot down by Lizard. Because Lizard, Lizard knows the pecking order. We'll have a couple of kids run this place. Once they're done praying. But, uh, look at all these people that are wanting to come for treatment. Sorry, shop's closed. Come back another day. Um... Where did you go? 5G is still alive, but... Uh, oh, you must have frozen to death in the night! Ooh, that's, that's a grim one, isn't it? There we go, get everyone in this house so they get hope, and then just dash that hope. They don't deserve hope. The heating is off, don't I know it? A duel is taking place, but they haven't killed each other in dueling yet. Amazing. 5G is still alive, and they're even eating. Oh, there we go. They got sick. I need to turn on the lights so I can see where all the sick and dying people are. That body is still there. It's like, where is Waldo? But instead, we're searching for corpses. Corpses littering the street. Ah, people have been dutifully taking it off to the snow pit. One of the many snow pits. Is that a body? Because it looks like a body. Looks a lot like a body. But it might have not been a body. This poor bastard here, though, he's been lying there for weeks. That body is now part of the generator itself. Last one left. Please turn off the generator and lie down in the snow pit. The writing's on the wall for our captain. I'm starting to worry we'll lose what little we have left. Oh, well, the storm's on the horizon. That doesn't help matters. Alright, guys, we'll see who dies first. You or me. Would heating the snow pits cause people to get sick? Yes, it would. It'd be a bit disgusting, though, so I'd rather not. Five G will be the last one alive. Well done, Five G. You're the only one around. That means you get this lovely home. You get the generator all to yourself. You can overdrive it for all I care. Must feel like a goddamn queen. In the city of the dead. And yet you're trying to oust me. Well, time to get out of bed and back into the fray. <laughs> What is the fray for you? Picking up a dead body, okay. Hups a daisy. And then off we go to the pit of despair. Put it back to work in the pub. Well, it's not pub working hours yet. What a miserable bloody existence. That's <laughs> so unceremonious. <laughs> After a hard day of doing that, you're going home. That's precious. Why don't you go to the pub, right? Everyone deserves a pub visit. Don't know who your patrons are going to be, but... Oh, right, the day's already up for you. You got any more dead bodies? Oh, <laughs> do you?
I couldn't give her a care house. We don't have any health laws signed. I'd have to sign magical treatment first. But there's there'd be no way to uh, to save you now. Uh, I guess no. You could build an automaton, research automaton uh, medical, and then go and be saved by said automaton. But that would be uh, you're on death's door. There's no way you'd have time to do it. It would take five engineers a day. One engineer would take many days. Come on, five G. Find those dead. You're telling me the corpse is in the archive? Show me, lassie. Oh, it really is? <laughs> oh my god, this is grim. Turn the overdrive off, it'll explode without warning. You make a good point. Hmm. Drunken meltdown. A drunken man is having a meltdown in front of the cookhouse. Well, there are only two people in this city. 5G and me. And 5G is a woman. Well, unless the cold has just been that bad for you. Come on, where's the next body, 5G? Oh, now you're going to eat. It'll be the last meal you ever have. Truly the last meal you ever had. The last soul has perished. Everyone has died. Snow covers the dead city. No longer protected by the heat of the generator. Month after month, the snowdrift rises higher and higher until it fills the entire hole and no trace of the city remains on the face of the frozen earth. And there lies 5G. She tried, and she succeeded in this ultimate battle royale. Congratulations! And I'm afraid I, as your glorious leader, survived the impeachment. It's over. Well, that was a pretty fun one. No healthcare, but uh, we were able to trash it after we finally uh, finally found those people at the Circle of Stones. Got rough, but much like the uh, cannibalization run, by treating our people purely as resources, we were able to power through in ways that we normally do not. So cheers for joining for that. I know how it is, right? I'm, I'm always done with Frostpunk until I'm not. So if you think you have a great challenge for this game, just let me know, because I'm always open to playing more of this fantastic game. I'll be back with more throughout the week with Punishment Games and finishing off Sengoku Rants and whatever else is on the menu. So until then, whenever it is, it's a cheers and a cheerio.